How about now? Okay. <laughs> Man, I said some fucking hilarious jokes while I was muted as well. You'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, dudes. How we going, lads? Drew, um, Hygienic, Killer Croc, Martin, Pally, Simon. So I've been, uh, I guess I've been a little bit of a busy little bee. Been a little busy. Uh, because you guys haven't seen this character yet. We've got a sorceress now. <laughs> Level 88. <laughs> I, uh, got her, got her up to 88 over the past two days. Um... And I also did Ubers 10 times. I've been wheeling and dealing on Tradery. Just fucking wheeling and dealing. Um, and then farming keys as well. Yeah. So we're going to ID them. And two of them I need. If we hit a Paladin one, I need a Pally one. And if we hit a Source one, I need the Source one. And the rest we're just going to give away to you guys. So, like, hopefully we get multiple sources which means that we could actually give away a Sorceress one for once. Uh, because they're fucking money. They are cash money. So it would be nice to give you actually expensive stuff rather than just, like, fucking shit barbarian ones. <laughs> and Pally needs a sin? All right, if we find a sin one, then I will, I'll, I'll put one aside for you, Pally. Yeah, I think you've earned it. I think you've earned it. And the rest will just do like uh, first in, first served in a public game. All right. Well, let's get fucking stuck into it, shall we? Enough of this dilly dallying. Let me just uh, do a little strip tease. Do you guys like the uh, the goblin emoji? It's fucking cool, right? Emojis are really hard because like it's so small. Like emoji, like the f emoji thing is so small, but you can kind of see it okay. What do you think? I think it looks really good. I mean, I didn't draw it, so... <laughs> Best dream of Goblin. <laughs> Thanks. I love it. I actually really love it. Only <laughs> fans for when... I'm just drumming up hype. That's all this is. This is just a segue to the only fans. Also, I've got... Actually, I got the most exciting email. But uh, I don't want to fucking be annoying and, like, prolong IDing the torches. So, remind me of this email afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's fucking go, lads. Um, so that is the only torch I have at the moment. Okay, let's do it. Give me the sauce. Give me the sauce. Oh, 10, 12 assassin. Well, maybe we could put this one aside for Pally. <laughs> Give him the worst possible assassin torch. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, that's pretty good barge. Assassin's alright, though. Assassin's alright. Also, 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 also. Um, I just saw, like, a... Just saw, like, a mock-up of, like, the garbage emoji. And it looks so fucking good. Like, actually so good. I'm so... I'm so hyped for it. Yeah. And this would be a perfect time to use it, because it's 10, 12, complete garbage. All right, number two. <gasps> we got the source! 11, 16 source! 11, 16 source, second torch, second torch. Okay, okay, okay. So this means, this means that if we find another source, if we find another two or three sorceresses, then we can give it away to you guys, because I need one. <laughs> I need one because at the moment sorcerer's torches are like so expensive wait I just want to check to see how how much they're going for I mean they, they stay expensive like the whole time like even like a shit sorcerer's torch just so we've got like a frame of reference um server rune Half a bear for that. Ballpark. A source torch with shit stats. About a server. Fucking madness. Absolute madness. Easy money. Easy. Alright. Third one. 
Oh, that's garbage. That's some straight up garbage right there. 1216. 1216 Druid. No good. Fuck, I love IDing shit so much. It's so fun. <laughs> Number four. 1219 Necro. Not horrible. Not horrible. I'm definitely not going to phone up my grandma and tell her, tell her about this one, though. Yeah. In fact, I'm not going to do that about any of these torches. So, um... There you go. <laughs> Charles Cole in 1714 on. Oh, yes! 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 1817 Pally! 1817 Pally. Alright, we got the source. We got the Pally one I needed. Now, any subsequent sources and pallies go into the giveaway pile. Oh, that's so nice. 1817, that's such a good one. I wonder what that's worth. I actually want to just jujule it. Sorry if this is annoying, but I'm just so interested in the prices. I can imagine you guys being like, oh my god, fuck off with tradery. I just want to like, ID the rest of the torches. You schmuck. Wait, what was it like? If we did like 16 to 20, and then where's the other one? To light radius? What the fuck? Where's the resistances? I literally can't see it. Oh, over there. Just to get a ballpark. Um. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Clear filters. Clear filters. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, what have I done? There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, okay. Let's look at recent trades. 1911 for a Vex. That's really cheap. What? 1313 for an Ist? That's fucking insane. 1717 for a Low. That's a bit better. 1713 Vex. Wow, I thought Pally was worth more than that. 2013 for a low. Honestly, I didn't realize they were this cheap. 1718. That's almost exact for a low rune. Wow, I thought you'd fetch a little bit more than that. I can't believe some people are offloading some for Eists. That's m crazy to me. Alright. Wait, I gotta go like this. <laughs> Just got a gull for a 1614. That's nuts, man. I, I That's crazy. I thought Pally, surely, surely you'd get more, even for a shit Pally torch. But I guess maybe the meta's changed. You know, there's less, maybe less Pallys. 1711 Assassin. Okay, we could put that. Wait, that's the one I have at the moment. That's exactly the same. We'll, we'll put that over over here in the keep pile so we can give that to Pally specifically. Okay, dokie. How many we got? Four left. Oh! <gasps> 1720 Sorceress! 1720 Sorceress! What? No. Oh snap! Oh snap! That's fucking straight up money right there. That is money. Two beer runes? Holy hell. Holy crap, man. This has been insane. 1919 and the 1720. Fuck me. Alright, that's great, because this one could be my personal use. I mean, that's such a flex, having that. And then we can give away the 1116 source to one of you guys. That's fucking insane. 1720. God damn it, boys. <laughs> We're fucking rich. <laughs> I can't believe I've got- I'll have this in my inventory. 1720. Sorceress Torch, I'll have an Enigma, I'll have a Death's Fathom, and a Tarnhelm. <laughs> Seems appropriate, you know?
I blew all I blew all my cash and I couldn't afford a hat. Alright, three to go. Well Tesla and incoming. Yeah, I we kind of have we have the wealth to make a Tesla then. Because like on that small charm, the twenty eleven small charm, the offers are like going up. I think the latest offer was like a jar and a low. Yeah, I haven't accepted any yet. But we do have the wealth if we trade stuff. But I also wanted to use this. That's why I made a um, a cold source. Yeah, pretty boring, I know. All right, three to go. Three sorceress torches coming up. 14, 15 pally. So that's that's worth a gull rune, apparently. <laughs> it's pretty disappointing, honestly. Where's the pallies at? But at least we can get give that one away. 14, 15. No Zons yet? No Zons, no Barbs yet. Uh, but we just jinxed it, unfortunately. 13, 17 Zon? That's not terrible. I think Troll earlier on called a 17, 14 Zon. So very, very close. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I made that happen. That's my bad. That's 100% my bad. But... No sorceress torches yet. So weird. Oh snap! Fifteen twenty assassin. Fifteen twenty assassin. Holy balls, man! All right. Well, I'm taking that one. But it means we can put a seventeen eleven into the giveaway pile. Yep, I'm just straight up yoinking that one. <laughs> That's that'll go on the assassin. <laughs> <laughs> holy moly all right so quick recap this one i already had but we'll give that away so here's the ones we're going to give away 13 17 zon 14 15 pally 12 19 necro uh 11 16 source 12 16 druid 10 12 assassin sorry to whoever gets that one uh and then Got myself a 1720 sorceress. <laughs> My pal in 1817. The assassin a 1520. And then we'll give give this one to Pally. Alright. So I hate to do it like this, but I'm just gonna make a game and then you can all come into the game and I'll try and do first in first served. Yeah, it's a bit of a scramble. Um, but I just don't know a better way to do it. So, it'll be schmuck7 password8 on the Americas. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I should have told you earlier. Yeah, I'm always on the Americas for future. Yeah. Alright, channel on in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, man. All right, we got Chael Sonnen up in here. Hello, good sir. There you go. Who is next? Uh, Zippity Zap. That'll be Zon, of course. Do a poll here. How would the poll work? There you go, Zap. We got, um, uh, Lordran. Who's Lordran? Which one's Lordran? <laughs> I don't know which one Lordran is. Maybe if I go there. Oh, that's, wait. Bear is Lordran. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, sweet. You get the Souls Torch. Nice, man. Congrats! <laughs> Wait, where is Bear? There you are. Oh man, you look like he needs it too. <laughs> no offense. Bear looks like he needs it. <laughs> there you go, bro. Uh, who's next? Uh, who do we get? Who do we get here? Um, we got Deadfall. Yep, we've got a shit assassin one for Deadfall. I think. So we've got Pally, Necro, and Druid left. <clears throat> there you go. 
We got the pally one was whoops, not you can. So we did potatoes, potatoes it is. Potato, boil them, mash them, stick it in a stew. All right, sorry for everyone that missed it. Oh, we got a necro there, that's perfect. And we've got a druid one left. <laughs> if anyone wants the druid one. One's dangerous, precious. <laughs> no sin torch for you. Sorry, man. There's gonna be more. For what it's worth, I'm gonna. There's gonna be more. Yeah, either not this stream, obviously, but in the future. Yeah. Cause like, I'm filming a video. Yeah, I'm so sorry to everyone that missed him. I wish I could give it to you all. We've got one druid, one left. Yeah. Um, but no druids. Yeah. You skipped me. Oh, did I skip you? Did I? Let's see here. Lodron, Zap, Deadfall, Potato, Involvesaur, Necrosis. Oh, sorry if I made a mistake. It's Davos. Yeah, sorry, man. Oh, wait. Savage was first. <laughs> Wait, Savage was first. Oh no. Wait. Oh, sorry, man. That's my bad. Oh, we gotta think of some compensation. Ah, oh, let's do it. Here we go. That was my bad. You can buy yourself one. You can buy yourself a nice one. He took it, right? Oh, you can't. You can. You can. You can. You can. Please. It would be... I would like to give it to you. I can't take it? You can. You so can. You so can. I scammed someone out of a fucking sunder for that. That just was just an unreasonable trade. My pleasure. And we've got a druid here. Amazing. We've got a druid. We've got a druid. <clears throat> Pay it forward, baby. Pay it forward. And you were first. You were very first. Fantastic. We offloaded the Druid Torch. <laughs> More of an accomplishment than anything. Alright. Let's fucking do some magic finding, lads. I just gotta change the title of the um, stream so we don't debate anyone. Um, Alright. Let's, let's fucking farm some gear. Farming some gear upgrades. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> Hello, stream. Hey, guys. Sorry, I feel like I've neglected you over there. Oh, yeah. Wait, before we farm gear, let's do Spawn's Ubers. Because <clears throat> I've been wheeling on dealing on tradery with Spawn all day. If you want to come into Schmuck 8 password, password 9 spawn on the Americas, sorry. I know you play on a different, um, different ser server. <clears throat> hey, XB, welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. I'm good. I'm really good. I got to tell you guys about this email that I got. It was from, so I get like emails for like potential sponsorships all the time, right? And they're usually just, they're usually just like just shitty gaming sponsorships which like i mean mobile game sponsorships which i'm not against like if it was actually a fun game and i actually played it you know i wouldn't be against doing one of those but then i checked and i had this uh should be normal yeah i had this email that someone sent this morning from razor and it wasn't for a sponsorship uh, it's schmuck8 password 9, yeah. It wasn't for a sponsorship, but they were just like, oh yeah, we discovered your channel, like one of the employees, and we want to send you all of this stuff. And it was, it was like a fucking fancy mouse and keyboard and headset. No, no new chair, unfortunately. No new chair. 
but it's like really fucking ex like expensive stuff yeah from razor yeah i haven't replied yet though because sometimes i can be sometimes i'm really gullible like i kind of I can kind of like fall for, for scams almost sometimes, or I like trick myself into believing it. Um, so I kind of sent, I, I, I screenshotted the, the email and I sent it to like my brothers just to get an extra set of eyes, but I'm pretty sure it's legit. And like I you Googled the guy's name and his LinkedIn pops up, but yeah, I'm definitely going to take it. <laughs> Fuck it. Free stuff. It's free stuff that I'd actually use. Yeah. Your mic's a razor one. Cool. Yeah. I've got, just got a, a blue Yeti. Like, the the mouse, I I don't know what I'd do, because I, I just bought, like, a fancy new mouse, like, not too long ago. Um, but, like, a headset I really need. And, like, I don't really need a new keyboard, but, like, my keyboard's just, like, the $10 one that I just got from the keyboard shop. So it kind of would be nice to have a nice fancy one. But, um, yeah, it was crazy. I was like... It's had a bit of a surreal moment, you know? <laughs> I was like, have I fucking made it? You know what I mean? Uh, get your people to chat to the raise of people. Yeah, exactly. I'll get my people again. Get in contact with your people. All right. So we should have um, Spawn in here. We're going to do Spawn's Ubers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Which is V. Yep. Do you, but you do you need to promote them like put their logo on the screen i don't think so i haven't replied yet but i didn't get the indication that it was like i had to do some sort of promotion i think just like using the stuff would be and establishing a relationship i think is what what the promotion the idea is yeah like if i yeah if i had to shill it and i didn't believe in it then i obviously wouldn't do that but i think it's just kind of like a here take this sort of deal which is amazing yeah amazing if it's what it appears to be all right let's do it spawn let's fucking do it oh also i gotta show you guys this gave you two extra i noticed that thank you so much man thanks bro it helps me to do we can do more giveaways next stream maybe Oh, Air Threepers Toll, Daniel. How did it roll, man? How did it roll? I get... Look at this. 15 ED. Spirit Monarch. 15 ED Monarch. So nice. I'm obviously going to re-roll it to get 35. Or or trade it. But, uh... Yeah, those... These go for, like, an Om to a low rune. Or they have been. Yeah, 15 ED Monarch. I found that earlier today. All right, what else do I need on the smiter? He's got a treachery now. He's got an enigma there, call to arms, and then he'll get his fancy new torch. Beautiful. I think that's it. Got a tradery notification. Yeah, let's look. I've got like cheap stuff on tradery though, so it's not as expiring. Oh, yeah, it's not worth your time. Yeah. It was just like a, uh, I put up a 30, I mean a 90 light sunder and for a key <clears throat> and someone offered a key of hate for it so i'll sort it out later i don't want to bore you with that yeah yeah what i've been doing is like i'm doing bail runs like for a video like i want to do a thousand bail runs um and then i'm just like taking the stuff that i find from the bail runs that i don't want to keep you know obviously the stuff that i want to keep or use i'll keep and just um just selling it on trader for, for keys which is great because like essences of destruction are like <laughs> they're so expensive it's fucking amazing because like i do a th if i if i do a thousand bail runs i'll get like 80 essences of destruction and like each one of them is going for like two keys like at least or you can trade like tokens for ists and then trade an ist for like fucking stack of keys. I'm wheeling and dealing over here, lads. Wheeling and dealing. <clears throat> and now that I've got all the torches for our characters, 
it means that like in future videos we can give away like all of them not just like not just like um eight of them or whatever it was all right beautiful let's go here first hopefully we proc a fade without having to stand in the fire hello Damn, Bobby. <clears throat> Forty-three ninety-six single-player grief. That's fucking beautiful. <laughs> that is gorgeous. And also, fucking congrats on getting a um, a low on single-player. That's incredible. Uh, how was the server slam? I didn't play much of it, honestly. I played for six hours on a hardcore sorceress and had just the. I was. I was so heartbroken. I encountered the butcher and oh we got the fade. I just fucking fumbled the bag so hard boys. I got him down to like a slither and then he killed me. It was like such a fucking throw. It was I was gutted. I was honestly gutted. <laughs> um and then I played for like two hours as a rogue and then the stream crashed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't really care too much about it. This this service slam. Like the only thing I wanted was that that mount, the Ashava's horn. But then I didn't even get that. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, the title is service slam. Oh, that's why people ask. What? Why is the title service slam? Has it been service slam the whole time? Oh, in the, ne the next thing. Right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Diablo 2 resurrected. I was like, oh, thanks for asking, man. <laughs> thanks for asking how it's going. <laughs> uh, okay. God, that's embarrassing. Oh, well. I've got a 1520 Sorcerer's Torch, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, thanks for letting me know, guys. Um, it's been that the whole time. Fuck. <laughs> So I did clickbait you after after all. We should get this amp off before. Hey! Secret room! Kano was telling us about this one. That in Project Diablo 2, sometimes Lilith would spawn in here. And they had to like fix it. Whoops. Still no 60 FPS. Yeah, I don't even know what uh, what you guys are doing here, to be honest. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I gotta hocus pocus focus for a second. So, yeah, I'm not good with all this technical stuff. I think the video is the 60 FPS, but I've been streaming in 30 FPS. Um, is it like a big difference for you guys? Like, is it super noticeable for like most of you guys? Or is it just like for some of you guys? <clears throat> yeah, because I could, I honestly just forgot about it. <laughs> so I could, uh, I could, uh, increase it for next stream if most people want, want it to be increased. <clears throat> I just kind of don't notice these things personally. Yeah. How dare you debate me? <laughs> it's, it's not noticeable at all. Yeah. I mean, I should do it eventually. I mean, if some people care, it's like, you know, whatever. It's fine. It looks good. Can't tell the difference personally. Yeah. Um, who cares about 60 FPS? Yeah, I mean, I feel like in different games it matters to different degrees, right? So like, I don't know how much it matters for Diablo 2, honestly, but like, if it was like a shooter, like a first person shooter, you know, something super quick. Um, it'd probably matter more. But yeah, I don't know. I'll, I, I'll actually think about increasing it for next, you know, in the near future. Because, like, why not? You know, why would I not do that? Hello? Come, come. A wizard is never late. 
He arrives precisely when he means to. Um, cam's probably the biggest change. Yeah, true. My cam is like I'm just on a webcam, right? <clears throat> yeah, I guess I could invest in a super nice camera. Because I've just been using this webcam that I bought for $50 the whole time. And then you guys can see me in HD. In all of my glory. Come, come. I know. We got Diablo as well. It's gonna be a party. 4K chance to aim. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> uh, that's all you need? A regular chair. <laughs> anyway, I lost bail for a second. So what torch do we want for you, spawn? Wait, I fucking these ghosts are up in my shit. Let's come over here. Is that him? I feel like that's him. Oh, it wasn't him. Are you gonna tell you? Oh my god. Oh my lordy. What a mess. <laughs> it's just so annoying when you fucking... When you can't keep hitting the same thing. Because things get in front of your cursor. It's like so freaking annoying. And then you've got the fucking ghost mana burning you. There we go. We might actually need to go get some minor pots. Yep. Don't want to get stuck there. Hey, Apollo. Yeah, I'm really good, man. Yeah, really good. Hello. Just, uh, I did 10 torches. And... There were pre For 10 torches, I think we got really lucky. I mean, we definitely did get really lucky. What am I saying? Like that sorceress torch alone, 1520, is just like nuts. Yeah, that thing's at least two bear runes. 1520 swords. If we were to sell it, I probably won't. I'd probably keep it. Yep. There's self use. And then we got a really nice paladin one for the paladin, 1819, I think it is. Um, and then we got a nice upgrade, 1817, and we got a nice upgrade for our, um, assassin, a 1520 as well. Just outrageous stuff. Outrageous. You bought one like that today? Cost you an arm? For sorceress? No way. For a sorceress one? Not a chance, JD. If you did, then that's then that's nuts. Sorceress? What? For an om? <laughs> Fifteen twenty? No way! On tradery? What the hell? You got a great deal, man. That's nuts. <laughs> One of the funniest things is. Wait, I'll tell you afterwards. Wait. Okay, so this one's for spawn. So we want to get him a good one. I mean. We always want to ID a good one, if you if you'll believe it. All right, see how we go. Oh no! Oh no! No! Pally, what does he want? I can guarantee you that he doesn't want that. He doesn't want that. That's fucking gross. This is why we need that garbage emoji ASAP. ASAP. So fucking bad. God damn. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. That's just filthy. That's just straight up filthy. You can give it away for your stream. <laughs> what we'll do, Spawn, is we'll save it for next time. We'll save it for next time. Uh, for the next torch giveaway. 
because we'll definitely I'll definitely do more in the near future yeah because I, I find them really fun all right let's jump over to the source and then we can do some magic finding let's terrorize at the moment lava juice oh for five more minutes we'll see what the next terror zone is yeah beautiful all right people got so mad at me that i made this in a royal shield they were like oh runes down the drain <laughs> down the drain <laughs> it's like, bro, relax <laughs> it's fine it doesn't matter that much <laughs> I mean, it is nice to have it in the elite base, but it's also like, oh man, you could just hunt all season for the perfect base, you know what I mean? You got a few keys to donate, let me know if you want them. Ah, oh, that's so nice of you, man. But I, I kind of, I try not to take donations, even though I do sometimes. Because <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, it doesn't always sit right. Yeah, but that's so sweet of you, man. Trash that Jarsy shield, unsubbed. <laughs> unsubbed for the royal shield. <laughs> Wait, Pally, do you want to come into schmuck, um, schmuck one, password one, and I can give you this torch, um, the one we saved for you. Will Sin be a main? Push it to 99. I don't know if I'm going to do the 99 grind. I like toyed around with it and then, yeah, I don't know. Wait, where'd the sorceress one go there? Oh, 1720. Oh. God damn. 1720. Not even 1520. Yeah, I don't know. Now that I've got this fucking death fathom source, unfathomable source up and running, I feel like I'm going to play her a bit. Because I want to do a thousand bail runs. I've done a hundred over the past couple of days. Let's see. A little time up, the, up there. I actually really want to know your thoughts on how the timer looks, by the way. Because I did tinker with it a little bit. So it always looks pretty shit when you've got the menu up. But it looks kind of okay when you don't. You just have to put the minimap off. Or else you get the text underneath. But you don't need the minimap. You don't need the minimap for Worldstone, for Worldstone anyway. Looks good without menus. Yeah. Can you see like the can you see the 100 pretty clearly? Looks clean, that's good. Yeah, it obviously looks fucking tacky as hell if you're farming somewhere where you need the map, but this will be off for like always for for the drops. Yeah. For this video at least. All right. So you know how we had the um we traded that 74 cold thunder for vex rune. I, I've got a kind of rule, I've got a kind of self rule, where I'm only going to trade for, for runes, uh, wait, is that Pally? Chael Sonnen? Is that Pally? Is that you? You gave me one? Oh, wait, you're Chael Sonnen? Wait, we can swap, we can swap. Of course you're Chael Sonnen. Let's give you the bet. let's give you the better one. Here. Swap with me, buddy. But don't come too close. I can't let you get close! Alright. We got a couple more for the giveaway next time. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I've kind of got a rule where, like, if I find something and then offload it, then I can trade for it again. So I felt okay trading for this. I've got that for a lem rune. We offload a 74 for a Vex rune, and I got this for a Lem rune. Or, like, I'm fine trading for runes, but, for example, I don't want to trade for a Shaco, because, like, I haven't found it yet. Like, I, I could trade for Tal's Ami, because we did find a Chal's Ami, you know? Um, found some Chanties as well. Got this Death Fathom, which really, honestly, I would much prefer to use an Oki, but I just, like... Just because I just love this thing so much. I was looking for it for so long. I just really wanted to use it. But objectively, I feel like an Oki is just way better for my purposes. Like, to have all that magic find on there. You know? Like, how much is 17% bonus to cold damage, really? 
Um, got the Enigma and the Archon Plate. I also got in trouble for that. Making an Archon Plate. Yeah. In fact, I get in trouble a lot. <laughs> I get in trouble a lot. Yeah, I got the Seraphs just for the two to all skills. Um, and on Switch, we got the shitty Call to Arms and the Spirit. 48 Tarnhelm, though. Pretty nice. Wait, was it Chaos or was it Outside Chaos? Yeah. That one's not very exciting, Outside Chaos. I don't think. And then here, just got like pretty shitty, like resistance, magic fine ones. Except for that fucking beautiful, beautiful Geeds. And just some rare booties with 24 MF on there. Yeah, I think that's everything. MF there, Nagel there. And Murky Boy's got that amazing cure, treachery, insight setup. Craft some Ami. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm kind of saving. I want to do a craft 100 Amis. Yeah, so I just need to get 92 more perfect amethysts and then we can do that. Yeah, just need 92 more. Yeah, so maybe tomorrow? No, I'm just kidding. It's going to take me ages. I'll probably have to trade for them. Yeah. The rails should come pretty quick. I always collect rails way quicker than um than P Amis. What's the downside to using Archon Plate as an Enigma base? It's just, like, you get more defense, but you need to put more points into strength. Um, yeah, so I, I think MPs, you know, it's just, there's no... People argue both sides, but personally, I think MP is best. But it's just like we found the three-socket Archon Plate that stream, you know, we had it. You know, we did have a three socket dust shroud as well, but our complaint just looked cooler. Yeah. Yeah. So if I had the option between any base, I would, personally, I'd pick MP, but it's like this, you know, it's just tiny little nuanced things. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a general consensus, but like people, if you make it MP, MP people will still, still tell you you're doing it wrong, you know? Like, it was so funny, on the latest video, <laughs> there were comments that are like, that was such an overpay for that torch, and then in the same video, there were comments that are like, you could have got way more for that torch. <laughs> it's just like the same video. <laughs> same torch. Yeah. It was an overpay, though. Randizel was very generous. Yeah, super generous. No Cult of Arms buff? Yeah, I'll do it when we're in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it when we're in there. Yeah. Oh, should have done it sooner. <laughs> yeah, good looking out. Oh, let's get this fucking timer going, shall we? How, how am I? I'm going well, man. Yeah, how are you, um, Gigi? Yeah, it feels good to just be making, uh... Just making another good old-fashioned magic finding video, you know? Feels good. Did, did, done 100 runs. And the best drop by far was this. 15 ED Monarch. I think it came from wave one of his minions. Like, not even from... Not even from, uh, Bale himself. Bally's making it plays too for you. Yeah, what's he doing? Oh, he's doing the Terror Zones. Yeah, just so we get extra experience. <laughs> so thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah, I started doing the bail runs at like level 76, I think. And we're level 88 now. So I wonder, like I would, one of the difference between Cold Source and me playing Nova Source, self-wielding Infinity Nova Source, is like I feel like I'll never die as Cold Source. But uh, we'll see. So maybe we do, we could do 99 with this character, but then yeah, I also just don't know if I can be fucked doing that. Pop a TP for him. There you go. If he wants to come. Yep. 
Also, you guys would be so proud of how much gold I have. Gold wrap is pretty sweet. Gold wrap geeds, not dying. You just accumulate gold. It's crazy. 24 hours of Pinder run today. <laughs> Whoa! Miz! Ooh, that was a close one. I'm gonna lay off the 24 hour videos for a little while, I think. Because, like, it used to be. I've done them so many times. And it used to be, like, a special event sort of thing. And it used to be, like, I'd do it, and then it would knock me around for one day. And then I'd kind of get back into the routine of things. But this one knocked me around for a couple of days. And I was kind of like, okay, this is just... Just not, not really a sustainable thing to do on the regular anymore, I don't think. Oh yeah, look at that fire. Hell yeah, Pally. What is this? This is garbage. Black bogs. I think that's one for the Tapale though. Maybe. Face of horror. Definitely not for the Tabale. That doesn't roll skills. Thanks for the game. My pleasure, man. Enjoy the torch, bro. Let's write that down. Tabale. Black box. Sharp. It's the first black box. What kind of goof carries around 600k? Oh, I'm invisible. I've never died once in my life. Also give you an extra 7k damage. <laughs> Seems balanced. <laughs> Seems like a balanced build. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Alright. Out of curiosity, there are some items that I never really know... I never really know, like, if it should go in the video or not. Like, some rare items. Like, I don't know if if anyone cares. Like, there are items like the grandfather that it's like, yeah, that'll go in the video every time. Because it's like, it's a classic. It's so profoundly rare. But one of the ones that I really don't know about is Natalia's Mark. Because it's, like, really rare, but, like, also who who gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, so curious to know your guys' thoughts. If Nat's Mark uh, earns a place, or does it just belong in the table? Uh, how does the Merc life leech? He, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. He's just... Yeah, just got, um... He's just got prayer. Yeah. Wow, I'm taking so much... Oh, we got Amp on. Yeah, if we had to change it on him, on her on him, that would be... That would be ideal. But it's kind of like... Oh, there are just a million other ways that I'd prefer to spend a bear rune, you know? Sorry, Miz. In your opinion, the yellow and rare drops are 10 times more exciting than the unique drops? Oh, 100%. 100% but the thing with yellows is it's kind of like to get a good yellow is just so rare yeah so I I, I oh double small charm dex seven life damn <laughs> damn it yeah the thing with yellows is like it's just to, to get a good one, it's just, it's just so rare. So they're not in my videos very often. Because, um... It's not that I'm not picking them up. Well, sometimes it is. But I'd say most yellows I'm meant to pick up, I pick up. Except for weapons. Except for weapons. I've started kind of checking them more, more often. Um... But yeah, they're just, like, never good enough. Yeah. Yeah. God, leave with those charms in the video, yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> It'll be like a just a 70 hour long magic fighting video.
Alright. Skin of the Flayed one also works well. Um, upped and socketed with an um for max resist. Is that the one that's got... Oh, I kind of remember what that has on it. Oh, I didn't start the timer this, for this one. Oh well. Bonus bell run of the flayed one detour. Does that have like heaps of open wounds or something? Life steal, other repair mod, replenish life. Oh yeah. I mean, he's pretty survivable with the treachery on, honestly. As long as Fade's procced, he's like, he's pretty okay. Two sock. When I first played this game, I didn't go to work for two days. I ain't neither. Yeah, neither. I was also eight years old, but, uh, yeah, exact same, exact same situation. <laughs> so fucking good though, hey? Longbow. Kabaj! Found some awesome tri res boots. 30 faster run walk, 25 magic find. That's fucking beautiful. How did the, um, how did the resistance roll evidence? Yeah. There's some fucking lovely boots. You played last year. Oh, whoops. Sometimes this happens where I just out of inst just out of muscle memory, just end up, you know, doing the thing that I've done like a hundred thousand times. So, oh, yes. Not muscle memory, baby. Fucking intuition. Intuition. That was a message from above. I just fucking ended up there in Nilly Dilly's temple without even thinking. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking D key. Alright, don't mind if I do. Wait, let's start this timer for realsies this time. There you go. GG, yeah. 30 cold, 33 fire, 27 lightning. Fucking amazing. 25 MF, 30 cold, 33 fire, 27 lightning. 30 run walk. They're fucking huge boots, bro. They would definitely be in the video. They would definitely be in the video. God damn. That's such high rolls on the resist. Like, obviously could be higher, but insane to get all five of those things. Yeah, that would be amazing. Boots is one of the things that I could use a really big upgrade on. Like, hoping to find some war traps or, or godlike tri res boots. Because at the moment, we've just got these. Like, it's basically just 24 MF. With, like, a baby bit of fire res. So, I could use a bit more fire res. We've got 30 at the minute. One of the best boots you've found yet? Yeah, they're fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, I don't see how people farm multiple key sets. I farmed all day and still too short. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just can get scrooched in the nooch with keys. You can just get scrooched in the nooch. Honestly, honestly, sometimes I think it's faster to, I mean, it depends. Oh, Blue Shaco. It depends, like, if you're using a site like Tradery. Sometimes it's faster just to farm somewhere else and just trade, trade the things you find for the keys, which is kind of what I've been doing mostly, is just, like, doing bail runs and then, like, Sometimes tacking on a nilly dilly run because they're so quick. And for example, like with the green essences that I found, trading them for like multiple keys because people fucking love that shit. Yeah. Love that green powder. Um, uh, I got another three by three set later if you're down. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. Yeah, of, of course I can do that for you. Uh, I can give you a couple more keys for running it. <laughs> uh, Necro Torch is 
Gabazito, though. Yeah, sure, man. I'd love to. Yeah, I'd be happy to. And you've got a set as well, Pally. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty quick at it now, so can definitely do do that for you guys. Maybe if we do like eight more bail runs, and then we could do it. And Pillar, what's up, MG dude? Thanks so much for your generosity. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, bro. I'm so happy with the new um, goblet emoji. And Spawn, welcome to the MG, man. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, dude. Hopefully we don't, um... Get you another Necro Torch. <laughs> God, that was such a shit Necro Torch as well. It's like so bad. <laughs> How cool's a goblin? I'm so happy with it. Oh man, let's... I love that so much. I honestly can't wait for the garbage emoji. It looks so great. I think it'll translate really well to a, um... I think it'll translate really well to an emoji as well. Because emojis are just, like, so small. But I think the garbage emoji will, will translate really well. I think, like, we're also doing, like, a hasty hobbit. And it looks great. It's, it's, it's just like, oh man, emojis are so small, you know? I don't know how well that'll tra that one will translate. It might be like a little bit too small, but um, yeah. Chair emoji, are we right? <laughs> yeah, I've got a chair emoji on the list. I've got a list. And the chair emoji is underlined. Yeah. So, that one, will definitely be in the next batch. Had to um, pop and leave a like. Great work, brother. Keep it up. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, don't, for don't forget to drop a like on the stream if you... Um... Well, I don't know. <laughs> if you respect the grind. <laughs> Thanks so much, uh, Point Zero. Run count 103 and no drops. Oh, we've... I've had drops. Yeah, haven't had any drops on... On stream yet. Just black bogs. Fucking garbage. Yeah, I've found... A pair of gore riders. For the smiter. Uh, that rolled 193. On the ED. So 7 off perfect. Um, found a Kira's. That rolled 60 on the all res. And the best drop, probably the best drop by far, was a 15 AD Monarch. This thing. Insane. And then found a, um, found BK Sacred Charge without knockback. And, um, Nat's Mark. But like those two, it's kind of like, oh. I, I, I don't think, I don't think I'll add those to the video or I'll just like gloss through them super quickly. Um, Cause it's like, oh, who cares? Like no one really uses them, you know? And, and one of the benefits of like doing a thousand bail runs, you can be like kind of selective with stuff like that. Because a thousand bail runs at my speed is like just under 80 hours of, um, of drops. Respect the grind. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> How many runs you going for? Uh, gonna go for a thousand, I think. Yeah. We'll see. I could bitch out. That's nothing, right? I could bitch out and just do 500, but I've done that before. Nord's Tenderizer. Definitely one for the table. And we want Twirl, not Falcon. Nord's Tenderizer. Schmuck speed, yeah. Because <laughs> you get slowed down from, like, writing stuff down like this. And, like, little bits and bobs. Nord's Tenderizer. First one of those we found. Good luck, my man. Thanks, dude. Thank you. It feels really good to be making them. Um, because I didn't make these sorts of videos for a little while. 
you know, it feels really good to be back. Like, I, like today, like, today and yesterday, just, like, fucking doing bell runs and, like, had my headphones in and, like, was just, like, consuming just, like, just slop off, off on YouTube, you know? Just catching up on all of this meaningless YouTube drama. Like, I, uh, was listening to, like, this three-part series from Asmongold. Like, <laughs> learning about all of this RuneScape drama. Oh, that was, that was a good listen. That was delightful. It's like, don't know who, you know, don't play RuneScape, you know, don't know who any of the characters are, but just still so entertained by it all. So, <laughs> felt good. It felt very peaceful. Yeah. You know, consuming all of this content around the Boogie wing, Wings of Redemption fight for, for those... <laughs> for those who know what that is yeah just great yeah in my element really yeah this was a super clean throne this one's really nice some of the thrones are a little bit annoying um cause like if we get a good throne like this and I'm not f fluffing around then the runtime is like three and a half minutes or maybe even a little less but sometimes it can be like five minutes if you, there's heaps of the, um, just like heaps of dudes, especially like the, uh, the guys who cast the fi fucking fireballs. They, I feel like I kill them slowly. Cause they're cold immune, right? And, and then we have to break the immunity. Yeah. But now we've got a source torch that actually really helps a DPS. Wait. Oh, that's, that's inaccurate. That adds, like, a hundred damage to each frozen orb, and, like, six hundred damage to the blizzard, plus three soul skills. Really, really useful. So, should be a little bit more speedy now. By using orb instead of blizzard? Yeah, I'm using both, yeah. Yeah, I usually just, uh, cast a blizzard, and then cast orb underneath. Yeah. In reality, I should be going like Blizzard, Orb, or Blizzard, probably. Barok's Beer. This is kind of average. Goes on the ground, but in the table. Demon's Arch. Uh, let's see. We're going to end up finding like 10 of these. 185. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Play the cold sauce same as you. Oh, you got a Mel. Nice crumb. Yeah. Orb is better on console. Blizzard is wonky. Yeah, I feel like Blizzard would be one of the skills that wouldn't translate the best to console, right? Because you can't cast exactly where you want it. That would be so annoying. Like, so fucking annoying. Like, especially for, like, Nilathak, when you want to put it, like, right on his head. Yeah. Congrats on the Mal, man. Yeah, Mal's are, um... Mal... I, I fucking convert everything to how many keys I can get for it now. <laughs> Mal's go for, like, five T keys, which is crazy. Like, it's crazy how much cheaper T keys are to, compared to the other two. Yeah. Like, five tiki's for a Malrune. It's like, yes. Okie dokie. Are you telling me consoles can't moat trick? They, they should be able to moat trick. It would just be, like, a little bit more annoying, right? Because you have to put it, like, the perfect distance away. You have to, like, stand the perfect distance away. Or at least that's my understanding. Found a Vex in a chest two nights ago on single player. Oh man, high runes on single player just hit different, Drew. Hit different. I remember when I found uh, my first high rune in D2R, which was also on single player. It was a Vex. It was from a chest behind Mephisto. 
I was so excited that I was like messaging extended family members about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I messaged my brother, messaged my cousin. I was just like, just found it back through. <laughs> Took a photo with my phone. <laughs> yeah. So exciting. Yeah, that's amazing. Vex is such a good one too. Like you can make a fucking flickering flame. You can make a heart of the oak. Such a sweet find. Uh, crazy how valuable perfect items are. Um, got a bear for a perfect viper. Yeah, it's in insane the perfectionism. Like, I understand it, but it's also insane. Like, 15 ED here. It just makes this white monarch just go up in value. Just, like... Massively, <laughs> you know? Changes, changes it from being, like, worth a gull rune to, like, worth an om to a low rune, you know? Yeah. Or just, like, one all res on a Viper Magi. Mara's from Diablo! Nice one, Evidence. God damn, you guys are raking it in. I love it. It means it's my turn next. <laughs> Um, I have those actually. Trying to get an arm for calls to arms. Oh, well, you just got half of it. Fucking hell yeah. Proud of me for IDing that? Wait, let's check this first. Oh no. So I just gotta go do a, a boring trader Egypt. Wait, I gotta check that I've got the rune as well. It's a boring trader trade, but it was like I offered and they accepted, so I'm worried that like Oh I don't think I have it anymore. Yep. Beep beep. All right, never mind. False alarm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I make an offer like a fucking 12 hours ago and I just completely forget about it. Some people in Trader are always in a rush. Yeah, I'm just so triggered by my one review that wasn't five stars. It's like a one star review on a trade that didn't even happen. I made an offer, he sent a message, and then I fucking didn't reply for five minutes and he left me a f cancelled the trade and gave me a fucking one star review. I'm so vexed by it. Do you guys pick any of this up? Because I wouldn't. Except for this. Maybe. <laughs> Under traps. <sighs> we don't really care about those, do we? We just want runic or greater taloons, right? Market wine purchase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, wake up. <laughs> wake up after a big uh, big night of the mugs of wine. And it's like, oh, whoa. I play, I paid what for what? <laughs> Three bears for a source torch? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> runic to loons of the run. Yeah, runic and greater to loons. Yeah. I played how much for a 74 Cold Sunder? <laughs> uh, thanks for all the content, man. So entertaining. Ah, oh, thanks for saying that, dude. I'll also be never be able to <laughs> pronounce certain item names ever again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Taloons out here living in your head rent free. <laughs> You know what would be funny if, um, you know how they have, like, the, the Google Trends and you can, like, Google a word and it shows that, like, in the 1800s, I don't know how they know this, but, like, in the 1800s, this word was used heaps and then, like, it died down and then it, it peaked again in the 2000s. If we were to ever, like, absolutely blow up and then we could fucking manipulate that data. And it's just like, 
to loons, you see a spike in like 2024. The the use of the word to loon just skyrockets. Yeah. That's the dream. That's the end goal. How do you change in the world? <laughs> Flail. Three socks. Black base. <laughs> Data. <laughs> hey, that's just the accent. Beta. <laughs> Beta. Data. My kids use the word over tomorrow. Wait, is that the day after tomorrow? <laughs> when tomorrow's over? Because if that is, that's fucking genius. If they're referring to the day after tomorrow with over tomorrow, then you're going to retire early. They're going to retire you. Yeah, fucking astrophysicists on your hands. <laughs> Tater, I hardly know it. It is. It is for the day after tomorrow. See, it makes so much sense. These kids are fucking genius, man. They're fucking genius. Like, the fundamental, the fundamentals of language is to communicate. And they so clearly communicated something that we don't have a singular word for without an explanation. They are fucking smart kids, man. They are smart kids. Or maybe... Maybe they just think like me. Maybe we're just on the same wa wavelength. Um, hey, Ariel. GG on the torches. Thank you, thank you. Th this one is just fucking nuts. 1720 source torch. Insane. It... It's... Will never not be funny for me that we've got this. Fucking 1720. Enigma, Death Fathom, 15 ED Spirit, better time help. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so out of proportion. <laughs> We're bottom heavy. We're bottom heavy. And the Dawn, yeah. So silly. <laughs> Such a silly looking hat. <laughs> 40, it's a good good roll on it though. 48 uh, magic finds. I was wearing that um, that circlet, that 120 circlet that we found from Chassis beforehand. But I'm married to the magic find. I was born in it, molded by it. You can feel the um, next hit delay with his clone sometimes, like not always, because you have to have you know, a flurry of attacks from both of them, but you can definitely feel it sometimes. Kabaj. Kabaj, Kabaj, Kabaj. Like, when, when they both act, attack at the same time, it's just like, whoa. My health definitely didn't go down that fast before. What happened to the 1919 torch you farmed? We traded it. Yeah, we traded it to Randizzle for three bears. We used two of the bears to make an enigma. Yeah. And then had a bear left over. Yeah. Happy lunchtime from Angola. Hey, Brian. Uh, hope the saying is going well, schmuck. The slaying? Slaying is going remarkably well. Yeah. Haven't found... Well, we found a D key. But we got, had really good luck with the torches. Yeah. World first. World first torch ID in the D4 service lab. We're breaking, making history over here. I'm so happy about that that Razor email. I hope it's legit. <laughs> Cause they like need like 
my name, like my number, like somewhere to fucking ship this stuff to. But it's just so crazy, man. Little old me, you know? Little old schmuck. <laughs> me? <laughs> this is insane. It's fucking giving me free stuff. It's like, what the hell? Who would have thought, hey? What was the email? It was like an email from like someone that like works at Razor. Oh, troll. Thank you, man. Just wanted to say I thought your performance in Zelda was sensational. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> That's funny. They could be blush over here. Um, yeah, it was an email from like someone who works at Razor, like the fucking video game accessory company, and they were like, wanted to give me stuff. Yeah, just to have. I don't think there were any strings attached. I don't think so. But yeah, I haven't replied reply, replied yet. But it's like stuff that I need to. Well, I don't need a mouse, but I really need a headset. So it's just like, oh, I would have had to buy, buy one of those, you know? And now I don't have to. So yeah, it was surreal. It's really surreal. Cause I just saw it like, like an hour ago, like just before the stream. Me? Mizan! Don't die! <laughs> Hashtag ad. <laughs> Double check for scam, please. Yeah, I, I definitely will. I like... Because it, it, it definitely does feel too good to be true. I mean, it looks legit, but also like sometimes... Sometimes I can be stupid with these things. And it's got like his name. And like I googled his name and then it's got like his LinkedIn and stuff but then it's also like the scammer could just like you that would be just a smart scam if they just used the name of the right person <laughs> and it has like a discord his discord as well so I'll probably just message him on discord I guess but then I guess it could, could just could be the scammer there it's like how do I know do you guys have any idea like how, how, how you, like, how would you check? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I could email, I could message him on LinkedIn. Look into the domain. Into the web link. It's got his email there. And it's like, looks like an official Razor email. Man, this always gets me. Chains boots, but not chain gloves. <clears throat> it's like at razor.com, you know? Try to reach out to the company directly. Not a person from the email. Good call. Good call. I think I should do that just to be safe. Because it's like, they do need personal information. And it is definitely a too good to be true sort of situation you know good call is this email address the same as the official razor website uh let's look wait i don't know how much i can tell you it's just at, at razor.com the email at razor.com that sounds pretty re legit already had a few experiences with scams good shout good shout especially since I think I googled I googled like how to know if a sponsor is a scam <laughs> um, and they were like they'd like to target small creators and I was like oh wait that's me <laughs> 
<laughs> That's me. Yeah, so I think emailing the company directly is a good idea. Sounds pretty legit. Yeah. It definitely looks legit, but... I mean, a good scam can look legit too, right? But it's like... It wouldn't make too much sense, because it's like... Well, actually, I don't know. Actually, probably that probably wouldn't make sense. Because that'd just be scamming me out of all of this personal information. <clears throat> Which they could use to for some nefarious purpose. Yeah. Congratulations on 19k. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have to start uh, thinking about uh, <laughs> some sort of special to do for 20k. I think we're probably a month off. 20k but uh yeah we'll see the world's a crazy place decline confirmed 19 minutes in asia oh, amazing our annie is like pretty garbage like kind of embarrassing to have this this next to this 10 16 17 next to a 1720 hmm Hey, Miz, where'd you go? Almost 100 likes, make it happen. Oh, yeah, two to go. <laughs> we can do it. You can do it. Do you guys not have phones? <laughs> do a fireball drunk stream? <laughs> I'm sure I could be part of it. Yeah, we could be part of it. Yeah. Man, I haven't had Fireball in years. Oh, we hit the hundo. Thank you, guys. When do I need to get in the server for Decline Walk? Uh, Troll was saying 19 minutes. So I'd probably jump over there in 15 minutes. Yeah. That's what I would do. Crossing fingers that this offer for the tech stuff is legit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm all excited about it now. <laughs> it would just be embarrassing if I was talking about it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then it was just a scam. I'd be like, oh no, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Yeah, I, I'm like 98% sure it is. But I think we should do our due diligence because it, it definitely is a sort of too good to be true sort of email. Yeah. Ooh, nice! String of ears! So we have one of these on the smiter, but it's always nice to find these because they have such a nice variable roll. Um, so it's 10 to 15 on the DR and then like 6 to 8 on the lifesteal. 14, 7. It's not bad. It's not bad. And... Garbage! String of ears. It's a nice find early on. Like early on in ladder, a string of ears is nice. Um, let's see. String of ears. They seem nice, but are so worthless. Yeah, I mean they're a better belt, right? But for example, my spy my smite is using a string of ears at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, when when we find a T gods, I'll switch it over to that. Uh, but for now, it's like it's pretty good. Yep, yeah, exactly, exactly, Maverick. Yep, using the Death Fathom. That's in fact that's the entire reason why I made this character unfathomable. <laughs> it's just <laughs> such a cliche name. Yeah. I, I just really wanted to use it, you know, I've been hunting for it for so long, I just, I had to. Uh, I always opt for the T-Gods. Yeah, but it's good if it's all you got. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, I love the, just the Lightning Absorb for T-Gods, it's just god tier. 
go. Uh, what was the diadem in storage? Uh, there's a couple there. There is... There's... So this guy... <laughs> During the 24 hour stream, I wish I could, I, I wish I caught his name or remembered his name, but he was like, oh, make a game, I've got some free for you, and I was like, oh, that's so, that's so generous of you, man, but I, I just couldn't, you know, I, I try not to take too much free shit, <laughs> and then I made and another game for something, I'm not sure exactly what I was doing, and he came in and just like dropped all this stuff on the ground, like really good stuff. A trap skiller with 44 life. Mind you, this is a couple of days into the ladder. And a griffins, I think it was 1813. Yeah, so it might have been the griffins that you saw, um, but we're going to... The trap skiller, I'm trying to off like sell on tradery. Um, just for runes. Oh, Thresher! Oh, Ethereal! Four socket. Oh, two socket. Damn. Can't even roll it. Yeah, to trade for runes on tradery, and then, like, give it back to you guys in some way. Like, not keep it for myself, but yeah. Just because I feel like the runes from the Trap Skiller work better for, like, giveaways than just, like, a random Trap Skiller with life on it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's worth a lot of runes. <laughs> Trap skill with 44 life is worth a lot. Yeah. Um, but the griffins, I think we, maybe we just leave as a griffins. Yeah. Because a lot of classes have use of that. Yeah. He also dropped... Yeah, the Viper Magi as well. Yeah, he dropped a 3413 Viper Magi. Yeah. It's insane. Insane. Like that, <laughs> the Skiller and the Griffins are just like very valuable. <laughs> so I don't know how the hell he got his hands on those like that early into ladder. And yeah, just so fucking generous of him. I wish I could remember his name. Yeah. So yeah, it'll, it'll come back to you guys in some some way or another. Hey, Spectral Shard. Alright, people want me to pick up Crystal Swords, because, like, in theory you could up them. But maybe a better thing to do is, like, check if they're Ethereal first, and if they're not Ethereal, then don't bother. Is that... does that seem reasonable? Because you want Ethereal with the Repair mod on there, right? Only if they're Earth. Okay, why don't we just check if they're Earth? And then we don't have to ID them. Yeah, good call. I like it. Um, but Spectral Shard goes on the list. That's the second one of those we found. Times two. Oh! No need for the repair? Wait, because you up them to um, phase blades or something. Yeah, true. Yeah, you up them to phase so you don't need the repair. Oh, so smart. That's cool. What's the orb damage at? It is pretty low. Well, 800. We have plus 15 to all skills. Yeah. So I decided to max this first, which I don't know if that was the play. Just because it was like taking so long to kill the cold immunes. Because like if you break the immu immunity, like the fucking guys that cast Meteor. Because if they break the immunity, they go to 95, right? So I decided to max... Um, yeah, I decided to max this first. That, you know. But we're maxing everything related to Frozen Orb, obviously. Yeah, this and this. Yeah. <clears throat> Not bad, you killed the last wave pretty quickly. Yeah, honestly, the, the slowest bit is just, like, clearing the room. Like, these enemies are all easy-peasy. But, like, if there's heaps of the Meteor dudes, then they can be kind of annoying. Yeah. 
But our, our DPS will go up. Like, there's so much room for improvement. Yeah, like helm, rings, amulet. Could get an Arax. Skillers. Yeah. Yeah, so much room for improvement. Facet. Oh! That reminds me, actually. I found some stuff earlier today that I saved to ID on stream. As well as the torches. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't from the bail runs, or else I would have just ID'd it, obviously. It was from, like, doing key runs. I found a, um, a unique ring and a facet. Um, so we can ID them after this run. And, like, hopefully we get a cold facet so we can chuck it in here. Yeah. Hopefully it's not perfect though, is that weird? I hope hopefully it's like a 4-5 cold. Or a 5-4 cold. Oh, the D-clone! Wait, is that happening? When's that happening? Do I need to go right now, or can I kill Bale? Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We do Bale. Then we go over to Asia server. Nine mins. Ah, oh, we got fucking time. Thank you, troll. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll do one more bail run. Then we jump over. Then we ID the facet and the ring while we wait. And then we get the 2020 10 amulet. Annie, I mean. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully the cold is like not perfect. So it doesn't feel bad putting it in this shitty death, shitty death's fathom. Do you know what I mean? Because like if it was 5-5, five, five, I wouldn't want to put it in there. <laughs> But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'd still be very happy with 5-5. Five five. <laughs> we could sell that shit. <laughs> Buy more keys. <laughs> uh, what happened to the mosaics in? I found Death Fathom. Yep, that's what happened. <laughs> now I wanted to... I really wanted to do a thousand bail runs. Because I've never actually done a thousand bail runs before. Um, and I have more fun running bail. Not as Mosaic Assassin. Yeah. Yeah. Any trustworthy person over there here that could help you kill D-Clone? Oh, there's heaps of them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, if anyone needs help with a D-Clone, uh, just make a game, make a public game, and just, like, chill in there, and then we can come help you after we do ours. Yeah. 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 Where's t and walking? I believe Asia is my understanding. Yep. In... should be like seven minutes time. Ooh, we're cutting it pretty fine, aren't we? <laughs> Goddamn. Hopefully this is a good throne. Yeah, snakes die easy. These guys are cold immune, but they die easy. Okay, that's a quick one. So you just make any game in Asia? Yeah. But if you need help with it, make a make a public game, um, and just chuck a password on there. Yeah, ideally with not not a too long a title. <laughs> if you want someone to come help, yeah. <clears throat> oh, one day. One day we get a storm lash. But it is not this day. Let's have a look at this. Two to increase speed. Forty magic find. No. Have I ever been to Fortress in Melbourne, the gaming bar? No, but it sounds fucking awesome. I've definitely been to bars where you can play games, but I haven't been to that one. Yeah, that sounds fucking so cool. I bet the drinks there are super expensive, but also, I understand, yeah. Yeah, true, the game has to be in hell, yeah. Good call, Stoxy. <clears throat> 
So you just make a game and D-Clone will be there. So you need to make a game in hell mode on the Asia server. And then he will spawn sometime over the next five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want help with it, just make it a public game with a password or else heaps of randoms will join and try and steal it. Ooh. Get my dirty little mitts on this one. Oh, ethereal. Garbage. All right, let's go. Let's jump over there. Let's server hop this biatch. Uh, that one. Um, and we go Asia. Uh, why do I not use static fields? I do use static. Yeah, yeah, I use static. I don't use static on the bail waves, um, but on bail I use static. Yeah, it only gets him down to like half, and then you have to do, yeah, do normal damage. Yeah. Got my ticket to Asia. Declan, we coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just gonna move this over here. Uh, I'll move that too. Yeah, I'm not sure. How do you server hop without going to the Battle.net client? I did. Yeah, I did. I just turned off the display capture for a second. Just because I don't know what's on my desktop. There's nothing there to hide, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, the Raven Frost and the Rare Ring are on the Sorceress thing. Wait, I'll just move them over. <laughs> we got time, right? <laughs> we got time. Yeah, it looks so silly in the Tarnhelm. And how long does it last for? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, TK85's gotcha. TK85 has gotcha covered. Sounds awfully suspicious, <laughs> me turning off the display capture. <laughs> Suspicious schmuck over here. Alright, let's look at these. Let's do the ring first. This was from Nilly Dilly, I think. And the Manal count, as it stands, is on two. So hopefully it stays on two. And hopefully we just get an SOJ. Easy SOJ. Oh no! <laughs> no! Fucking Menald. I've ID'd five rings this season, five unique rings only. They have been Menald, Menald, 19 Nagel, 25 Nagel, Menald. God damn. God damn. Well, glad I saved that one for stream. Fucking add it to the list. Three Menards. We in double digits in no time. And Ravenfrost. This is also from Nilly Dilly. So we want cold, ideally. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Yes! That's exactly what I wanted! That's exactly what I wanted! Because it's cold, but it's not perfect cold. So this can go on the Death Fathom, our shitty Death Fathom, and it, like, who cares, you know? 3 5 cold. That's mwah, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. That's amazing. 
Makes it 20 gold to Marsh. Yeah, it makes it. Yeah, 22. <laughs> Still a shit roll, even with a facet in there. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Alright, Terra spreads across Sanctuary. I I know it's an I know it's silly. Cause you can just go frigid and he's right there. But I just much prefer cold planes. I just think the, the aesthetics of cold planes is just much more my speed. About to be unleashed. Wait, let's drop this. We could drop that. You really need a Shaco. Hope you can farm it soon. Yeah, Shaco or Nightwings. Yeah, Shaco or Nightwings. Um, or for the cold source. Yeah, for this guy, Shaco would be amazing. I found a unique Spide Helm today, but it was fucking Veil of Steel. I was gutted. I was actually gutted. Yeah. Because on the source, there he is. On the source, a, um, a Nightwings would be just amazing. Because I've never gone Death Fathom Nightwing setup. I've always been Oki Shaco. But it would just be so nice to try something new, you know? Plus, Nightwings look so fucking cool. Like, literally so cool. Should be here, right? Hello, my friend! You wanna cast Life Tap? Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, there it is. So, I think... What is it? 10, 16, 7 is the number to beat for me. Really hoping for a 10 experience one. Shaco's amazing for everyone, yeah. Because this guy's just wearing a ground at the moment. Alright. Alright, come on. Give me 10. Give me 10. Give me 10. But the right 10. Give me the right 10. 19106. Yeah. Well, it's one for the smiter, I guess. At least now I've got two, so I don't have to keep passing it around. But that's. That's pretty good. Bush. That's pretty good. Bush. I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty good. Bush. Oh well, it means that subsequent Annies will still be very exciting. Specify the right 10 too late, I know. <laughs> oh, Stoxy, on my way, man. Yeah. Yeah, if anyone needs help, then just post your game name and password in the chat. And I'll come get you. Yeah. Or, or someone else will come help you. Yeah, we've got a pretty good community. In fact, a fucking amazing community. So, we haven't had any instances where someone was a dick yet. Um, but you could always be the first. <laughs> Here we go. We're in, um, well, you can see where we are, Stoxy. 1620, nice, Jesse. What was the third one? Yeah. 2015-7, really nice roll. Yeah, really nice. Alright. Any day now. I need a G-Face so badly. Actually so badly. Because at the moment, it's there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's the deal. Right. That's the deal. I completely forgot about it. Yeah. What? My deal is we ID them on stream. <laughs> All right, what do we got for Stoxy? 1325. 1325 for Stoxy. Really don't know how to feel about that one. Sorry, man, I got two Annies in my inventory, so I gotta, gotta leave it for you in Frigid. You can get there, right? He's in Harrogath, he'll be fine. All right, who's next? Let's see here. Zell and slash. Whoop. Hey, Gene. Yeah, it was Asia. Yep. 
classic. Where are we, Gene? Palacella, cool. Nice spawn. Let's get this going. Yeah, because, um... Yeah, because with Grief, it's like we had 40 Crushing Blow there when we had Black. But, like, now, obviously, we don't have that. So now I've just got 8 here. And 12... And 15 there. It's just not enough. It's just not enough. Like, honestly, thinking of switching back to the Goblin Toe. Nice one. Oh, I put it in the personal stash. Oh, that's alright. We'll skip that ID. On to the next. On to the next one. Let's see. We'll do... Mittens? Nice name. I'm just going to jump into the game of, like, whichever one I see. But if 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 I miss you, then um, then just post it again, and we'll get you all eventually. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Where are we? Palace again. Beautiful. Loving all these palace spawns. Such a nice little arena cage match. <laughs> nice shield. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Ugh, royal shield. Put it in the bin. <laughs> Waste of two and a half high runes. <laughs> Nego killed it. Nice. All by yourself. Alright, Gregor. What's it gonna be? Little darling. 15, 17, 9. That's the best one I've ID'd all day. 15, 17, 9. Kind of want to yonk that for myself. But I will restrain. Let's go. Opa, 3, 2, 1. Hey, Dave. Welcome to the stream, man. Where are we? Zaphonia. Where is she? <laughs> Rogue. I wonder if she's spawned it yet. Oh, this is a laggy game, this one. Oh, maybe she hasn't? That's good. That's kind of okay. Thanks for the help. My pleasure, Mittens. Uh, you can choose where to spawn. Beautiful. Thanks, man. Can you get into Act 5? Oh, she can. Okay. <laughs> that would be the worst. <laughs> They're like in Act 1. <laughs> they haven't done Act 2. <laughs> and I didn't kill the Annie <laughs> in Act 5. <laughs> they have to stay in the game. <laughs> get through all five acts of hell just to pick it up. <laughs> That's the sort of shit I would do too. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. Second one, 181889. Man, Jesse, you've been killing it, dog. Fucking killing it. Great stuff. Alright, let's see. Yep, of course. 15167. That's mid. That's just mid, isn't it? 1567. Um you got to get a waypoint for that one, too. Did I get rid of the goblin toes? I'm such an idiot. Why would I do that? Uh, let's do... This one. Martin? You mi missed out on a torch, didn't you, Martin? Yeah. So at least we get to an Annie, I think. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. A nice assassin helped you. Roll to 2026. Ah, oh, shout out to whoever that was. Oh, we got Salty in here helping. That's probably it, Sassin. Thanks so much, Sassin. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Schmack one. Yeah, you guys are the best. You guys are the best, honestly. 
Because, man, if I ID'd a 2026, I don't know if I would have given it back, Raxi. I don't know. I don't know if I would have been strong enough. <laughs> Straight up yoinked that shit. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that fucking silver service. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, there he is. Wait. Hello? Oh, there he is. Oh, we got a, um, Amazon in here helping out. Hell yeah. I'm obsolete. Don't even need me. Get <laughs> me out of a job. He's a top G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm IDing that shit, that shit though. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Spawn. Couldn't get you a good torch, but a 2019-9. That's got to make up for the shitty Necro torch we got spawned earlier. 2019-9. Holy moly. Stream's over, boys. I'm out of here. I'm taking it. <laughs> nah, I'm just getting spawned. Here you go, dog. Holy smokes, man. That's fucking beautiful. God damn. One day. One day I'll get lucky. Alright, who else needs help? Is anyone that um, still needs help? Just post the game name again. Um, if you still need a hand. God damn, 2019-9. That would have gone so nicely next to the... the uh, Joppy, yeah. Beautiful. So, you've been waiting patiently for ages. That would have gone so nicely next to the 1720 Sorcerer's Torch. Oh, alas. Alas, alas, alas. Palacella Beauty. It's a cool spawn. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Something that's lived in my head that just reminded me of is you know how sometimes YouTube intros get stuck in your head if you watch them? I never really even watched this. Well, I must have watched them a little bit, like 10 years ago, and this has been stuck in my head ever since. Wait, let's ID this first. 1398. It's a pretty good one. I'd say that's above, above average. I mean, most things are underwhelming after the last one. We got Anno XXX. Um, yeah, the fucking YouTube intro of this guy. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy D7 here. Does anyone else know that? Uh, Zaps beat us to the punch. Thanks so much for helping out, Zaps. Um, we'll go MLE1, see if someone's helping here. Sassin? Too good? I saw Sassin just leave, so I think we're good. Um, anyone else? Anyone else that still needs a hand? Started D2 LED a week ago. Man, this game is so good. Right. Fucking the best. <laughs> um, haven't played Resurrected, but looks flawless. Or should, or should I say perfect? It's definitely not perfect. But it is god tier, all the same. Yeah, not a perfect ba game by any stretch, but it is just phenomenal. Welcome, yeah, welcome. Yeah, true, Mr. Lamar SC here too. All right, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. If someone slipped through the cracks, then just let me know. Um, but what were we gonna do? Love this community. Yeah, you guys are the best, honestly, because like. If you guys were just douchebags, or if there was literally only, like, a couple of douchebags, then, you know, that wouldn't have worked. Just being able to just post a name and then go help everyone. Because, like, you know, people would have joined and then just, like, stolen them. It just, just would have been shit. Yeah. Yeah. Still need help? Lodge run one? Let's get him. No schmuck left behind. What are the odds that 
I jump over and there'll already be two, not one, but two people in there helping you. I'll take those odds. Fuck, I just love that emoji so much, Fnatic. Oh, I love it. I just love looking at it. Looks so cool, right? Let's see. Um, let's see if I'm correct. I reckon not one, but two people in here helping. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> you guys have disappointed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it actually feels good to be able to help. <laughs> You were, but it crashed. Okay. Twice. Okay. All oh, right there. Silver service. You were here. I can see the evidence, Pally. You loosened it up for me. You loosened it for me. Yeah. Uh, mate, you gave me the souls talk today as well. Oh, true. True. Yes. I did recognize Lodran. Yes, because you're... Because you're bear, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we gotta get you some new armor next. <laughs> Sorry for putting you on blast for that. <laughs> Alright. 11, 16, 8. Serviceable. That's serviceable. Yeah. The armor's probably fine. In fact, my armor doesn't look much better, hey? Um... And there was one more, I think. Pickles, yep. Great name. Absolutely love it. Did I get that right? Pickles one. Uh, let's see. Probably did a typo. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I was like, great name. I love it. <laughs> all right i think we're all sorted um when did you hit uh 19k it was yesterday i think yeah the kind of who would have thought that uh uploading a video actually helped helped us over the line yep yep <clears throat> Yeah, th thanks so much for the lovely comments on that video, by the way. Yeah. Especially a couple of people pointed out that uh, the, the editing got a little bit better, which warmed my heart to hear. Because <laughs> I haven't used any transitions in any previous video. And I did for that one for the first time. I, like, discovered the transitions tab. And it rocked my fucking world. Literally rocked my world. I was like, wait, it's so easy. There's so many options. I can f fade to blur. I can swipe to the left. It's like, oh, it's so clean. It's so easy to do as well. It's all like inbuilt. Spawn, were we, were we going to do your Ubers again, man? Should we, should we do that now? That's Gordly, second highest roll. Or, or I think Pally, we're going to do Pally's Ubers as well. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll make a game. Um, and if I, either one of you, whoever joins first, will do, will do your Ubers first. Schmuck 2, password 2. Um, but we'll do both of you because we're pretty speedy now. <clears throat> Pepe G... Pepe GA clone 5 5 help please versus Diablo. Certainly can, man. Certainly can. Is that the last one? <laughs> I subbed yesterday. The bid was great. Oh, thank you. You could have been the 19,000s. Yep. We'll, we'll get you. We'll get you, um, Pepe. Yep. We'll jump over to the Asia server one last time. <laughs> if you're trolling me, though, <laughs> if I go all the way over, <laughs> if I walk all the way over to the Asia server, and this is a troll game, then I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. All right. 
Who is this Pally? Fantastic. All right, let's just do this last little declone. And then we'll do Pally's Ubers. How cool is it, right? So sweet. It's like, I don't know how much detail you can kind of see in like when it's really small. Oh my God. Oh my God. But I just love it. And the garbage emoji is oh, fucking God tier. It's actually God tier. I can't wait. I can't wait for you to see it. How good can one trash can be? That's the question you might be thinking. How good can a trash can be? But you'll you'll see. You'll see. Uh, three to Cobra Strike, two to Weapon Block, Greater Claws, worth something? I don't think that'd be worth much, personally. I'm not, I'm furthest thing from an expert, but I just don't think they're skills that you prioritize for, for mosaic bases. Do we get a hasty hobbit emoji? That's in the next batch of three. That's in the next batch of three, but um, let me just join this game. And it looks great. It looks really good. But that one, I don't know how well it'll translate to a um, to an emoji when it's like tiny. Um, yeah. But the garbage one, I know that'll translate well. All right. Got a squad here. Autobots, roll out. Because it's like, it's such a big task, like to make a fucking... It's almost an impossible task to, like, put a hasty hobbit into a tiny little emoji. Because they're, like, so small, you know? Like, how, how would one even do that? But I thought it would be worth at least trying. And, like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know? Because it, it has to... It's like, man, you have to, like, be able to tell that it's a hobbit... And it's also a speedy hobbit, you know? Boy. Jab, jab. Thanks for helping, man. <laughs> Once again. Alright, what do we got for you, Pepe? Is it Pepe? Pepper? Pepe? Pe Pepega? Oh! Got the 10! Got the right 10 and the wrong 10. <laughs> Hedged your bets with the 10s. Oh, I'm jealous of that one. Jealous, jealous, jealous. I'm going to act one just in case you can't go to act five. Um, here you go, man. You got the 10. Congrats. Jealous. Wait, does he want to trade? Hello? Yes. Oh, it's on the ground. It's on the ground, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like uh giving me something. Where's my griffins, huh? <laughs> Where's my griffins as payment? <laughs> Alright, let's do these Ubers finally. I think that might actually I think we have everything we need for them. We've got the telly, we've got the We've got the um We've got the, uh, the boo, what's it called? Call to arms. A, a hairy hobbit foot? That could be an idea. That could be an idea. Just a fucking hobbit's foot. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it'll translate. I'm, yeah. I would say it's 50-50. It might work. It, it may work or it may not work. Yeah. What? JD just sold a merc weapon for 15 bear runes? That's got to be non-ladder, right? That has to be. Bro, tell me everything, dog. What was it? Oh, the troll is Jab Jab. Oh, true. Wait, wait. Okay, do you have a Zon Torch troll? Because I'd love to give you one next time we have one. We don't have any at the moment. But I'd love to give you one if you... If you don't have one and you want one. 
All right. Got these. Uh, where did you get those keys and what for? So, these keys, they spawn, they're in the ballpark of a 1 in 13 chance to spawn when you kill the summoner, Neela Thak, or um, the Countess. Wait, oh my god, what am I doing? And you use them to spawn these portals to what are called the minor uber bosses to collect organs which is used to spawn another portal to the major uber bosses and then you get this godlike large charm called the torch once you kill those yeah but these specific keys were just given to me um, because we're just doing that for someone else yeah because we have a class that's just really good at doing it. <laughs> just a smido. Even though we could do it with the Mosaic Assassin one day. Yeah. It was on ladder? Fuck, man. That's just insane, dog. Wait. Oh, God. I swear this has been happening to me so much recently. Where is she? <laughs> God damn. Wait, what, what was it? You bought it for 2 arm. It was an ethereal thresher with 15 ED. It had had to be 4 socket, right? Ethereal 4 socket thresher. It had to be. Bro, that's fucking insane. Someone just didn't know how much it was worth. 15 ED, 4 socket thresher. It had to be 4 socket. It couldn't not be. Where did you get it from? Oh, he's right there. It would have had to be Traitory, right? Because someone on JSP would... If they were on JSP, there's no way that they wouldn't know how much that was worth. You know what I mean? There's no way that, that they would have traded it for that. But I feel like on Traitory, you'd just... There'd be more noobs. You don't trade on JSP? Yeah. Or I guess it could have been in-game. <laughs> yeah, I'm legit. <laughs> I mean, I don't JSP either, but I just don't care. I don't care if people do or don't. We kind of want a fade proc. I know it's a little bit annoying, but we can just chat. We can just chat while we catch on fire. Um. What character do you recommend for solo Uber's offline player? A hundred percent a smiter. A hundred percent. It's just by far the easiest. It's by far the easiest. You know, lots of classes can do it, obviously. But with this, you can, you can do it so fucking easily. Yeah. With minimal gear as well. With really cheap gear. <clears throat> yep. Like, um... Yeah, I did two streams a couple of weeks ago where we started at level one and went all the way to Ubers as a paladin. Yeah, one on softcore and one on hardcore. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Very, very doable. I put the live tap want. Seen Uber when? True. I... I well, let's do that with the next batch. The next batch of 10 torches we ID on stream. I like practice once once or twice off stream. And then I'll save I'll save a key set or two for us to do on, on live stream. So soon. Soon is the answer. <laughs> Uh, hi from Poland. Hey Edmund, welcome to the stream, man. And Andre watching from Brazil. How's it, how's it going, man? Man, this is a really good easy tile. It's like fucking no dudes there. Got a JSP account from 20 years ago with lots of forum gold, but you don't use it. Use it in old D2. 
when everything was the Wild West. <laughs> yeah. Shmark, how late are you going today? I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna, um... Just play it by feel, really. Yeah, no idea. Sorry, I got no, like, schedule or anything. Just wing it. <laughs> yeah, it's not too late at the moment. It's 10.30 here, so... Hello? You call a maggot. Maggot? Let's just pop a safety just in case. You know, G-Face, like I was saying before, G-Face would be such a big upgrade. Like, just get, have all that extra crushing blow. And then probably switch back to the, um, the ground still for Mephisto. But then G-Face for everything else. Because at the moment, we only have 23 crushing blow. It's just like... Or in High Lords as well would be a really nice upgrade. Yeah. Uh, don't you have a dual mosaic assassin? Why not do Ubers with that? Should be a lot faster. Uh, it would be a lot faster. Yeah, it would be faster. It's just that I've never done it before. So the first time I do it with dual mosaics, I kind of want to do it off stream. Just to get one under my belt as practice before doing it for the first time on live stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Yeah. Because I'm a straight bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm just traumatized. I'm traumatized from past experiences. You're too late. I think if we go for Nat here, we're like just fine. Let's see. He might be able to one shot us. Because we're minus eight lightning rays. No. Salvation. <laughs> salvation, salvation, salvation. <laughs> Going for Nat's just so greedy. We're like almost at the point where we can just fanat him. I mean, we still we still probably good and it's fine. But it's just to play it safe. All right. Ideally, we just get bail this time. There's just like too many fucking ads around last time. Uh, I can give you a G face. Oh, that's so kind. Yeah, that's so kind. But I kind of just yeah want to find most things myself yeah yeah g face is definitely one of the ones where it's like oh, i just kind of want to find it myself for the first time yeah that's why the sorceress is wearing a tan helm <laughs> where to handle all of these high runes in the stash yo oh mag what's up dude you must be on your phone? Wait, that's such a creepy thing for me to say. <laughs> it's so stalkerish. <laughs> Just because you don't have your display picture. Yeah. Sorry. Just gotta keep my weird weirdness in check. <laughs> oh no, evidence. Tomb Reaver can be such a heartbreaker, hey? Because it's just like, it's a bit of a Crown of Ages vibe, hey? It's like, he can get an amazing roll, but then not get max on the sockets, and then it's just ruined. Just like, straight up ruined. So this one was for Pally. Uh, this set of Ubers. I'm not sure what he wants. Maybe Sauce? I don't know. <laughs> He's got a nice assassin charm. <laughs> we know that for sure. <laughs> Uh, Alright. Oh! oh 11 13 Paladin. So. Oh <laughs> uh, man, I don't know how, how to feel about these anymore. Now looking them up, this goes for like an East Rood. So. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of sucks. <laughs> That, uh, kind of sucks limbs, but, um... Ah, well. It's just Pally. Give it anyway. <laughs> Give it here. <laughs> Alright, come over here, um... Come to... 
schmuck2 password2. And if you're floating around as well, Spawn, then we can do yours if you want to jump into this game. Give it away? Oh, you said give it away, not give it anyway. Oh, I thought you said give it anyway. <laughs> give it here. All right, we'll add it to the giveaway pile. Sure. Yeah, sure. So now we've got a, um, an assassin, a necro, and a pally in there. Yeah, and that's for my that's for my assassin. And then we'll do it for um for spawn here as well. Schmack, do you need your help? But you didn't make it public? For for declone? 20k income, I don't know about that. I reckon about a month. About a month at the at the rate we're growing. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is incoming, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But who knows? Who knows? I could be caught up in controversy and could all come crashing down. Uh, is there any way to invite? You can post the game here and then I'll come join. Yeah. I assume you're on the Asia server, right, Chrome? Yeah. Oh no, Lacos, that's so annoying. That's happened to me before, like when you spawn the portals in the exact same spot. Um. Oh, it's not a public game. Right. Oh, right, straight from the menu. Wait, game and password are the same for a private game? Oh yeah, if you open the game, if you if you press P right, then you can kind of see it. Wait, I'll show you. Let's see. And then we'll do then we'll do spoon spoons. <laughs> then we'll do spoons u ubers. So this is a private game. So if you copy that or write that down, that'll be the game name and the password. I think that's what Steven's saying. Yeah. All right, let's go help Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> we lost Chrome at the supermarket and he's been there all alone crying in R6 and he needs someone to come save them <laughs> no. thanks my pleasure dog my pleasure where did he spawn? oh it's amazing I can just copy paste boink boink Oh, is that spaces? There we go. Back an issue? I like your style, man. I like your style. Uh, you have a 28 called facet with a 4-5 facet in it? I, I saw that just as I was leaving. Um, uh, I'm actually okay. I, I, I kind of love... I know it's so silly, but I'm so attached to the fathom that I have just because I found it. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for, for offering to trade. Yeah. Man, it's so laggy. I'm so weak. <laughs> Wait, we can do it together. We can do it together, Chrome. We can do it together. You're level 64. That's heaps. You'll be fine. Where the fuck is this? Oh, it's over there. Wait, I'll, I'll boo you, I'll get the life tap off, and then you're landing the final, you're landing the final hit. Oh my god. Wait, it's Rack and Ishu? Oh yeah, that's in Stony. What am I doing? Over here. Okay. Wait, come over here, come over here. Oh no, I don't have boo on. Oh my god. Run away from that. That'll, that'll get us killed. OP strats. Alright, I'll get a life tap off. Come on, exile. Don't make me get out my wand. My wand. Okay. You got this, bro. Oh, you're a zealer. True.
And I tried to, I almost tried to give him a potion, thinking he was a merc. <laughs> My fingers went there. <laughs> What's up from the US? Hey, AFK Ghost. Welcome to the stream. Alright, let's see how low I can get. See if you can get the final kill. You're all yours. All yours, baby. Yeah, attack me. Can I get lower? I think I hit him one too many times. <laughs> I think that was me. <laughs> Damn. My pleasure, man. Had it roll. Yeah, had it roll. Yeah, I'd love, love to ID it if you don't mind. If you wanted to drop it. Thanks, dog. Alright. After all of your suffering... 12, 14, 8, Chrom. Nice to get the 8, at least. Nice to get the 8. Alright, now we do... Now we do, um, spawn Ubers. Spawn Ubers. No shot, Matthew! 20, 20, 10. No way, man! No fucking way. Better than nothing. Oh, right. You didn't get a 2020 10 for Chrome. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a big power jump. The first any first torch is just like massive power jump. Even if they're fucking shocking rolls. That's why I'm honestly tempted to trade this sorceress torch. The, um, the 1720 source torch. Like, trade it and then just... And then just like, um, and then just buy a shit one. Cause it's like, oh, you know, who cares? Yeah. Hello. Hey, Peter. Hi from Germany. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Um... Hey, Schmuck asked this a while ago, but then was gaming and forgot the answer. <laughs> Fair play. Uh, what do you do your trading at? And secondly, where can I best learn the value of things? Yeah, great question. And can answer them both with like the same thing. So I trade... Last season, I started trading on Tradery because I never used any external sites, but I'll never go back to not doing that anymore. It's just a website, it's free, there's like fuckloads of ads, and like the inf interface can be pretty shit, and like clunky. But it's just a, a site where you organize your trades. And then you go do the trades in-game. So there's nothing shady going on. Um, and that's honestly where I learned the, a lot of the value of stuff from there too. Like when I find something and I don't know how much it's worth, I just look it up on Tradery, and then I look at recent trades. I don't look at what people are trying to sell it for. <laughs> I look at what people have actually sold it for. Um, yeah. Ad block those ads. I mean, they're not intrusive. They're not intrusive. They're just like, you know, like embedded streams and like... You know, they're not intrusive ads. I mean, the, my brain just fucking automatically blocks them out. Yeah. The, the ads don't actually really annoy me at all. I don't even know why I mention them. I guess it's relevant because it's kind of like, this is how it makes money. It's not making money off you. It's making out... Well, it kind of is making money off you. It's making money off the advertised revenue. That's how it stays afloat. Um, the thing that does annoy me is the notification system. is like unreliable. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah. uh, awesome. My current character is the first ever ladder character. Uh, never done Ubers or anything, but willing to give it a try to get the full experience of D2R. Yeah, I love doing Ubers. Yeah, it's so fun, especially the first couple of times. 
So you got so much to look forward to, dude. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, it's just so, identifying the torches at the end, I just love that shit so much, you know? <laughs> Uh, why don't you use this in boobs? <laughs> I will, I will, I will, I will at some point. I just not, not right now. Yeah, I just want to do it. I just want to do it once off stream first. And then I'll, um, and then I'll do it on live stream. Because I've never done it as soon yet. And I just, yeah, just want to practice once. Heal all. Pop a safety A. Did anyone notice that uh, in the in my latest video, I like put in this a sound effect, a death sound effect. You know when the pally got one shot, and I spent so long trying to decide which death sound of sound effect to put in. Like for ages, I had the sorcerer sound effect. You know, like the really guttural. Arr, one god that was so bad for ages i had that but then i was like ah. i had to kill my darling you know because i thought it'd be funny to put the source sound effect in but it just didn't it's it felt weird so instead i changed it to the necromancer sound effect yeah which is also pretty dramatic but not as dramatic yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, the paladin sound effect just didn't have the didn't have the desired oomph. Yeah, we probably need to get that. Would be prudent to get that amp off. Oh, there you go. Sometimes all you gotta do is ask, boys. Where is this? Ah, oh, she right here. Right thar, right thar. Oh! God damn! It's a little spicy in there. Wait, these guys don't die so quick. These guys die in like two hits. Uh, I woke up to the stream, haven't had a chance to watch it. To this one? No, I think it's nice content seeing you do it for the first time. You're right, actually. Yeah, you're right. You're right, yeah. You're completely right. <laughs> you're completely right, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do it for the first time on stream as Assassin. Not, not this stream, though. <laughs> not this stream. I want to like, I want to watch a video of it first. <laughs> but you're right. You're completely right. <laughs> yep. It's just so much better that way. Um. Let's see. Get rid of those. Hello. Should probably be on full health, hey. Um. I want to make an Uber character, but but you're on PS5. Um, and it's hard to find rushes, and I'm too lazy to go through the game yourself. <laughs> Fair. I mean, it's kind of like I don't know. It's just one of the pitfalls I guess of Diablo one of I mean you guys know how much I love this game but it's obviously still remarkably flawed and just like playing through the same levels like over and over again just to gear up a character it's kind of like you're just the first the first character of ladder it's kind of like it's fun I mean it's, it's still fun every time but it kind of gets to a point where it's just like you're just blasting through it as quick as possible you know what I mean like with this sorceress, our cold sorcerer we've got, oh, that one was so efficient. I did that on Sunday, 
and I just got like the best games. Like I got the best games. Like, like we were kind of like walking act one together and then I got up to a level where I could telly, like, like telly people and then like I quit that game and immediately I joined like the perfect cow game to get up to level 20, 25 because I'd already done ancients. Had just such good bail games. Like, went from the bail game, normal bail game, straight into a nightmare rush from the guy that was doing the bail games because it was just like, hey, I'm going to rush my friend. If anyone wants to come, just come. It was just like, mm, so satisfying. Yeah, that one was really quick. Can't wait for D4, open world for the win. Yeah, I think it'll be a really nice refreshing change. Self-use Holy Fire is actually viable to run through. Oh yeah, Holy Fire is just like fucking amazing early game. Yeah, I, I always played through Pally's Holy Fire until like level 24 and then I switched to Hammers. All right, Spawny. See what we got for you, Spawn. See how we go, dog. I've been very hit or miss with torches today. <laughs> Hopefully we can get to another godlike one. Oh no! No! Spawn! Spawn! Oh no! Spawn! I don't want to give this one back. I don't want to give this one back. What the fuck? It's not mine. Oh no. I'm so jealous. I'm actually filthy. I'm not even happy for you. I'm just filthy about it. Oh god damn. That's beautiful. What the fuck? Over the past few days... We've ID'd 1919 source, 1720 source, and a 2019 source. Jesus Christ. That's outrageous. <laughs> oh, Spawn, he's rich. He's fucking rich. God damn. Let's, put, let's make the game name. Spawn is... Uh... Spawn is king. Password one. That's just to confuse you. Best Annie and Taunch in one hour, I know. <laughs> Makes up for the necro one, hey? Yeah. Spawn is king. Greed is good. <laughs> Here you go, man. Wowie. That's outrageous. 2019 source. Just joined to a 2019, what the F? Here you go, my man. God damn, that hurts. But if you love something, you gotta let it go, boys. You gotta let it go. Let it go. I never understood what that meant until this day. It finally clicked. It's finally clicked. Oh, that's okay. You already gave me. I'll take two. How about that? I'll take two. I think four is, four is very generous, but I'll take two. Yep. Oh. I'll, I'll take I'll take all of them then. <laughs> Thanks, man. You didn't have to do that, but I really do appreciate it. Bang, bang, bang. All right, let's go fucking do some magic finding, lads. We got we got an Annie. We've made someone rich. Now it's our turn. Um, and put that over there. You gotta take all the keys I left, yeah. I know your games. That's what the <laughs> that's human hearts. A few! At least six. At least six. God damn, I'm happy for your spawn. That's fucking outrageous. 2019 source. 2019. Holy hell, man. God damn. 
All right. What's Terror? Is this still... Crystal and Passage. Okay. Five minutes we get a new one. So let's do a... Um... Let's do uh, Bailey Boo. Um, and then we'll see what the, the next Terror Zone is. I think Flawed can go. Beautiful, all set. Just, I, I did a dwarf. I mean, first dwarf of the season is really good, right? Like, it's really nice to have one dwarf. But yeah, after the first one, it's kind of like garbage. Yeah. So, <laughs> bad luck. <laughs> yeah. What did it roll on the um, DR? That's like 10 to 15, right? Doesn't really matter. But, hopefully you got a 15 at least. Um, I need to save that part of the stream after you're off, <laughs> just so you can revel in it, <laughs> revel in your glorious 2019 Souls Torch. <sighs> Fuck me, man, I got the magic touch recently, yeah. Stream a client, baby, stream a client. <sighs> Time is going. Let's buff up. Buff up. Yeah, the go, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I, I did you that god like necro torch at the start, right? <laughs> That's the reason why. Hopefully we get a sweet Terra Zone. I feel like the past couple have been like pretty average. Yeah. Uh, what do the keys do? So you use the keys to spawn end game bosses. That um, if you defeat them, then you get yourself a torch. Yeah, a really overpowered large charm. Yeah. Very very fun. Fun end game thing to do. One of the few little bits of endgame content <laughs> in Diablo 2. Do you turn off the magic touch for Pally's Annies and Torches? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, Miz just got fucking yeeted and deleted by those Hydras. Oh, Nim. Thank you so much. 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. That's so generous. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. That's 20 more people that will be able to spam the new emojis we have coming. Like this one. Thank you so much. That's really, really generous. Thank you. Two more Asia walks coming in 30 minutes in an hour? Poignard? <laughs> Wait, that's amazing. Because my hands are so bad. <laughs> that's amazing. Sweet, two more uh, Declon works tonight. Yep, fantastic. Beautiful. Let's do both of them. Goddamn Asia coming through once again. Hell yeah. I love seeing that wall of goblins. That makes me so happy. Whoa! Okay. Not very exciting. I guess Doombringer is kind of cool. But like, also obsolete. Um, and Immortal Kings I own, literally only, <laughs> only care about if it's a high roll. 31. So that goes up to 40. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, oh! Cows, okay. Okay, let's do cows. <laughs> cows into D-clone. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Good day. Uh, all right. <laughs> Guess that's us uh, set for the next hour. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Go the mosaic. That's actually a good call. Yeah, let's do that. Let's switch to mosaic for the cows. Yeah, good call. We'll put that over there. She'll need that. She has her own torch. She'll need an Annie. Um, and I'll just put the magic fine things on. Tarnhelm, she'll probably want that. I think she's got gloves. She's gonna have shit boots, but... Who cares? It's just from the charge damage anyway. And I don't think she has strength. Yeah, and then Merc's just gonna die. Need a cow emoji. Yeah, good girl. I should add that to the list. Lorel? Schmuck it. I love the videos you make. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so much for saying that. I'm so glad you enjoyed them. Oh no. <laughs> Not enough strength. <laughs> Should have made it in a mage plate. <laughs> uh, let's just chuck that on. Oh, I guess she could wear the string of ears. Um, put that on, put that on, put that on. Nim is what the hell? Bro, thank you so much. Drunk again, just made my first single player character and got an enigma in one day. Wait, no, what? You gotta be kidding me. Single player enigma in a day? That's nonsense. No way, Nim. But thank you so much for your generosity. I don't, I cannot, I simply cannot believe that you got a single player enigma in one day. That I simply can't believe. But thank you so much. That's insane, yeah. It just doesn't compute in my brain. Literally doesn't compute. Lies. <laughs> but thank you so much for your generosity. That's such a generous donation. I really appreciate it. He's loaded with single player forum gold. Wait, what do we do? Uh, That's it. That's it. And I want these ones. I don't want that one, I don't think. Yep. And then... Oh. Alright, that'll do. That'll do, Nim. That'll do. Beautiful. That's a joke. Yeah. Could have been a reference, could have been a callback to my most recent video, which was named Enigma in one day. But then I changed it. <laughs> I changed it like 20 hours in. Uh, I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have left it as the, uh, the clickbaity title. But I, I opted against it. I mean, it's not clickbait if it actually happens. And did we just get an ethereal leg? Oh no, ethereal gloves. Oh, that reminds me actually. I was gonna ask you guys, cause this thing happened the other day and I was like, what the fuck? I've literally never seen this before. I've been playing this game off and on for 20 years and I've never seen this. And I wanted to ask you if you guys have seen it or if it's just like a common thing and I've just somehow missed it, <laughs> somehow missed it. But it was like, it was like, I was leaving act two, right? So just walking out of act two and it's like, you know how it's normally like a desert, right? It was like, there were all of these green trees, like so many green trees in act two, Rocky waste, like a fucking oasis. Have any of you guys seen that before? I took a video of it because I was like, this is insane. I've never seen it. 
Has anyone seen that before? All of these green trees spawning in the rocky ways, just as you leave Act 2. Just like, just as you walk out of Act 2. If Cows wasn't terrorized right now, I'd get up the video. Show the footage? Yeah, it looked like a glitch. It was so whack. It was really cool. Never seen it? Yeah, I was like, this is insane. But maybe it's something that... Maybe it's something that's happened that I just like... I missed or something. The lack of sleep had smoke hallucinate. It's hallucinating. Because it was, it was like weird spawn too. It was like weird spawn. They kind of spawned in like lines. You know, they were like in straight lines. It, they weren't like naturally placed. No joke. Read my messages. No way, Nim. Wait, Nim. You're not joking. All oh, right. Did play seven runs lower Kuras for seven hours. Got a jar and two sirs. Wait, Nim. He's not joking. Holy fuck, man. Single player enigma in one day. Holy crap, that's fucking nonsense. That's such a lucky, such a lucky LK. That's so lucky. Congrats, man. That's nuts. Man. Now that would make a good title for a YouTube video. Single player enigma in one day. Uh, best budget Ubers. Best budget is Smido. Yeah. Because you don't need any high runes or mid runes. <clears throat> a lem really helps. But, I mean, a lem helps for both. Man, Znim, that's fucking incredible. Don't even have a heart of the yolk. <laughs> but have an enigma. You're a bit like me, rolling around in my tarn helm. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I want to show you guys this video. I know... Eh, uh, fuck it. Five sock. Uh, kind of common. I know Cows is terrorized, but I really want to show you. It was nuts. Yeah, I can't wait for... You guys will have to... If I forget, if anyone pops into the stream, like any, like... Ooh, Smalley. Anyone who, like, knows what they're talking about. Like, if Ginger popped in, then you have to remind me to ask him about it. It was so weird. Alright, let me, let me find it. Yoink. <laughs> um, videos? Weird trees. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. You see me trying to walk up nice and cleanly. See, just leaving Act 2. All of these fucking trees here. You guys ever seen this shit? Oh my god. I try and do it again. <laughs> I try and do it again, but more clean. <laughs> Got crazy, right? Hacker? <laughs> see, and they continued down. It's like an oasis. It was so cool. Like in a line like this. And this line went up here. And then just suddenly stopped. And there was more over here. In a line, but you can't walk there. A mirage. It's a mirage. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, there they are. Inception, I see. I've never seen that. You know what I should have done? I should have switched to old graphics. I mean, they probably just would have looked like old graphic trees, but I didn't do that. Crazy, right? It was so weird. It was such, so, I was like, what the fuck? When I walked out and saw them for the first time, I was like, what the fuck? Act 3 has too much foliage. It's spilled over, yeah. <laughs> it's an invasive species. <laughs> yeah. Just decimating the landscape. But none of you guys have seen that before. Wow, you're getting good with your editing skills. 
<laughs> you don't even believe. Um, when AI tries to create new hacks. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> How long until that um, decline, do you guys know? There's one soon, right? Ooh. <sighs> like in 20 minutes or something? I believe Nim. I believe Nim. Yeah. After they explained how, that's actually plausible. Like smacking lower Kurast. If you get super lucky, it's actually plausible that you could do it in a day. <clears throat> yep. So lucky though. Because I don't think... Jars can drop from LK, right? I don't think so. Not from poppables. But I could be wrong on that. So it must have been for a monster. Superior Gilded Shield? Kill all? Wait, what? That was one sock, but what was all res? Ten. Um... Have you seen the two pictures I created? I was sending you in the comments from your last live stream. I have not. No. Um. I haven't. No. What? What are they? <laughs> I'm so curious. Oh, I believe you, Nim. I believe you. It's just insane. It's insane. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. I believe you, dog. Then look into the comments for me. I'll have a peruse afterwards. Is it a link in the comments? I don't know if YouTube allows that. It could have been yeeted and deleted. Yeah. Whoops. Oh my god. We're gonna have to get our charges here. Focus. Easy mode. Oh! Oh my god. I overstepped. Okay, should be fine. Hey yeah. Gothic Axe is garbage. It's a link in the comments. Does YouTube allow links in comments? It does, right? Because you can link other YouTube videos there. Okay, I'll have a snoop. There's just so many comments, you know, so... <laughs> I'm uh, I've never got a high rune in LK. Yeah, I mean, you can easily do a thousand LK runs and not get a high rune, or you can get do a thousand and get five. Yeah, it's up to the streamer to turn it on and off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think we can in. I don't think you can in uh, the stream chat. But on the YouTube video comments. I'm not sure. Sacred Taj. Hello? Gabash. What's the helm he's using? Tarn helm, obviously. <laughs> Offline versus online LK is completely different speeds. Oh, yeah. I mean, online LK is not even a thing, is it? Man, shaft stop. Ethereal? No. It's not a bad armor. I mean, it's pretty good armor. But it's just like, we're just a little bit past the point of caring about it, you know? 30% 30, 30 DR on there. Do you max play device? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Any of you dudes got a timeline on the um on the next decline walk? Or should we whip up the tracker? Ooh, Grand Charm. Wait, we can re-roll this heaps if you guys want. A terrorize, terrorize Grand Charm. Because I've got quite a few PGMs. Ooh, Spiderweb Stash as well. Ugh. Shale? Me jump stop nice, Schmack throws it on the ground. <laughs> if it was a week ago, I would have been delighted with it, you know? But it's, we're, we're past it. We're past it, Hill. We've moved up to the next tier. Uh, what level is required for Terra Zone Grand Charms with 45 life? That is a great question, and I don't know the answer. Yeah, do any of you guys know? What level do you have to be to find 45 lifers? 45 skillers, rather, in Terra Zones? It's a really good question. All your rings come up Nagels, I have five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three of the five rings we've ID'd this ladder have been Minards. So I feel you. I feel your pain. The other two were Nagels. 88, evidence says. 88 sounds right. Rings a bell. Yep. Ooh, Smalley. Cold. Garbage. Really is just so quick of, as Assassin, isn't it? It's remarkable. Ooh, Flawless Ami. Don't want to miss that one. Eighty nine, level ninety one for the forty five fighter suffix. So that means eighty nine makes sense because it's two levels higher. Okay, probably eighty nine. Elwin is correct, I believe. Good morning from the US. Good morning. Yeah. Can you kill D-Clone for you? Certainly can. Yeah. Certainly can. Just wondering when when we'll need to jump over. It'll probably be after this cow game. Let's Google it, yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, Jujul. Drops aren't affected by character level. They are, yeah, some of them are, yeah. Yeah, with, with regards to which affix is... Oh, I'm in Black Marsh. God damn. <laughs> Falls of habit. Yeah, some of them are with regards to which, like, affixes they can roll. Yeah. Like Grand Charms, for example. Yeah. Not so, not not character level per se, but the monster level, and your character level determines the monster level in Terra Zones. Yeah. Yeah. So indirectly by character level. Yeah. Uh, am I doing a twenty-four hour stream when D four comes out? Don't plan on it. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. So, sometimes I just decide the day before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're. I, I can 100% understand. Yeah, where you're coming from, Spartacus, because you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Until Terra Zones came out, <laughs> everything changed when the Terra Zones attacked. <laughs> yeah. Hey up. Nice. Got the Cobra. Coming from Project Diablo 2. Hell yeah. How are you enjoying the new, um... How are you enjoying the, the new season, man? I've heard really good things. Fucking Act 4 Mercenaries. Pretty badass.
Heavy belt. That's um, gold wrap, right? So that goes up to 80 on the gold, does it? I don't know that one off the top of my head. Oh, flawless Ami, nice. The actual mercs are okay, to be honest. Ah, oh, Tleroth, thank you so much. Tleroth with the 10 gifted as well. Thank you so much. Do you know what that means? That means more goblins, baby. More goblins. <laughs> yes. We're building an army. <laughs> oh no, we lost our charges. <laughs> worth it though. Totally worth. Would do it again. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Tlera. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Ooh, Grand Charm. What we got here? Wow, we got here. Oh, 11 MF. Oh, no. That's such an awkward number. Because the Sorceress could use more Magic Find. But it's just like, oh, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. In the Goblin Army, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best place to spawn Decline. Ah, oh, I mean, there are just heaps of good places, yeah. Like, yeah, Frigid's nice because it's he's just right there. But with my old computer, Frigid would just lag out my computer massively. So, <laughs> depends. <laughs> depends on your hardware. Um, also, if you go into... Oh, lag and play. If you go into Arcane Sanctuary Waypoint and then go back in the portal, that's a really good spot. So like level 3 of the palace. For whatever reason, I really like Cold Plains. Even though Cold Plains is stupid because you have to find him. But I just, I just like it, you know? Being amongst the greenery, out in the fresh air. The open space. I, I just can't, I can't justify it, but it's just a feeling, you know what I mean? Where else do people like? I'll tell you where was not a good place. I accidentally spawned him in Pindle once. That is not a good place. It's so toy <laughs> in that room. Because you know how sometimes they can sneak up on you, you know? like. You got a game and you like could like leave it open and like go do something else. Yeah, and then you come back just fucking finishing off the Pindle run and there's fucking deke load in there. <laughs> yeah. That I do not recommend. In fucking Pindle's room. Spawn him endurance three it sucks, yeah. What level's decline? Ooh. So many good questions, guys. I've got no idea. <laughs> I wish I had answers for you. <laughs> yeah. No boo? Nah, no, it's okay. Can we don't need it? He says right before he dies. Oh, cows. Such a fucking good terror zone. But let's go. Let's go, let's go give a helping hand. We'll, we'll jump over to the Asia server, because there should be a decline event very soon. But I just want to look up the um, decline tracker. Uh... Doesn't seem to be like a planned one oh there is one in four minutes okay there's one in four minutes all right let's go boys let's go let's go holy hell 
Wait, let's get all this stuff over as well, because we'll want that for the source. Quick! That's there, that's there, that's there. Alright. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Oh, snap. Can you also help me? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll help everyone. Yeah, we'll help everyone that needs helping. Yep. Oh, you've got one already in a game, yo-yo. Okay, let's do that super fast. And then we'll need to make a new game for ourselves. <laughs> let's see if we can kill yo-yos in three minutes, less than three minutes. Um, let's see, what was the game name? We're on the clock here, lads. We're on the clock. You got a TP ready, yo-yo? Where is he? La Galane, amazing. Three mins. Oh, we got heaps of time, I can chill. It's heaps of time. We're gonna be fine. Whoops! <laughs> Switch! <laughs> He's there, thanks man. <laughs> Thank you for the TP. Now's the time to be a hasty helper, yeah. <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks of the last Diablo 4 stream. Where <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, I'm not gonna level in time. Oh, I love the crushing blow procs. Alright. Gonna quickly ID it, yo yo. 14, 16. Oh, you got the 10! He got the 10! Oh, I'm so jealous. Make sure I've got the right one. I want the 10 so badly. Like, actually so badly. I'm so jealous. Hopefully we get it in this one. Because it'll be so nice on the source. Like, actually so nice. Yeah. So, if this is correct... If this is correct, there's a plan, walk in one minute. And then they'll start selling them. And then he should pop up. Pop up very soonly after that. Soonly? Shortly. It spawned already? There was one half an hour ago. But what I'm looking at, I'll show you what I'm looking at, sorry. So this is a declone tracker, it's a good website. If you just Google declone tracker, then this will be the first thing that pops up. So this is, shows you the progress, like terror approaches, you know, terror begins to form. And there was one 26 minutes ago that we did. But then also down here, there's a planned walk that is now for right now on Asia. So that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, so hopefully it'll start um, progressing, but we'll see. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Oh yeah, and there's a tracker on Discord as well. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, because I don't think they've popped up, Gene, yeah. This one's like, fitty-fitty. <laughs> it's fitty-fitty. <laughs> I don't know if it'll actually happen, but I just kind of want to give it a couple of minutes. And then we could, um, if it's not happening, then we'll just peel out. Get all the source shit together. You need those. Whoops. That's the life tab. 
I hope we get to put that in the death fathom. That's gonna be so fun. You really don't need the cult of arms, do you, buddy? Manals. <laughs> don't want to lose that one. Terror approaches. Oh yes, yes, man. It's rolling. It's rolling. All right. So we need better than a ten, sixteen, seven. Better than a 10, 16, 7, or a 19, 10, 6. Very, very doable to get a better one than that. So doable. So profoundly doable. Started happening, got Enigma. Recommendations for your um, classes slash build to play now. Um, congrats on the Enigma, first of all. That's amazing. I mean, I am profoundly biased, right? For me, Sorceress is the most fun. That's why I always play Source, like, all the time. Um, so, <laughs> but you don't often use Enigma with Sorceress. Other good uses for so for... I also find, um, here it is. I also find uh, Javazon really fun. Yep. Enigma is nice on Javazon. Not everyone uses it, but it's really nice. Wait, what did I put that there? I gotta put my other one in town as well. Fire trap soon is fun too. Yeah, yeah. Trap soon in general is really fun, I think. Yeah, but fire traps especially after the new buff. That's a good call. Yeah, with the next hit delay changes. Poison Necro is your fave. Yeah, we'll come help after this, Gene. Yep. Alright, let's just put the old one away. Let's put the old one away, because all we're going to need is our the gold-like new one we're going to have. Alright, small charm. Come on. The past two, for me, have been so bad. Come on, baby. Ten, but the right ten. Ten, but the right ten. Oh, yes! Yes! We got the ten! We got the 10. The rest is garbage, but I literally don't care. I literally don't care. We got the 10. Yes, the right 10. The right 10 this time. Yes, the source is gonna love that. She's gonna love that. Oh, yes. So nice. Oh, yes. Probably the only person in the world to ever fist bump at 1213. <laughs> <laughs> the 10 is all that matters for me right now. Alright, let's go help some people, hey? Um, let's see, your game... Can you just double check the game name, Gene, for yours? Um, we'll get someone else while we check that. Schmuck. What the fuck? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's two in a row. <laughs> what? Maybe I'll try... This one. <laughs> Why isn't it working? <laughs> Good thing Ray's is sending me a new key mount. Oh, it's hardcore. True. Can't do that one. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Hardcore decoy, god damn. That's bowler. I love it. Hey, it worked! It worked. <laughs> I got into one. <laughs> AFK Ghost, welcome to the MG, man. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, dude. Alright, let's go do meows. Alf1, password 12. Okay, that was the problem there. Yep. I'm sorry about, um, whose was it was hard that was a hardcore? Because I'm just wondering, do we have any hardcore slayers out here that could go help? Because unfortunately I can't. I would love to, but yeah, I can't, unfortunately. Yeah, and there's some fucking legend like Lakos, Sassin, 
that might pop into your game and help you as well. Yeah. Thanks so much for being, yeah, just being jams. Hardcore is the only way. <laughs> it is very satisfying, Hardcore. One of the most satisfying experiences that I've had was doing the one to Uber streams on Hardcore. Like when we did that Hardcore as a pally. Oh man, I was so happy after that. Oh my god, I put in the wrong stash. I was so happy. Yeah. I was just in the best mood. Yeah. All right, so we're IDing this for, for Meow, and then we'll go drop it off in Act 1. Yeah, yeah, they got the wrong 10. They got the wrong 10. 10, 19, 6. Does Declone give experience? Should do. Here you go, it's in Act 1, Meow. All right. All right. Gene, I tried to join, but maybe I was typing it wrong. Schmuck 11, password 11. S-C-H-M-U-C-K-1-1. What am I doing wrong here, Gene? What am I doing wrong? I'm sure there's something stupid I'm doing on my end. Uber 11, okay. <laughs> Uber 11, okay, we'll get you after this game. You crashed? Wait, does that mean the game's not live? Uber 11, okay, okay, okay. I hope it's still there. Yeah. Hope you didn't crash, like, and then join after the spawn. We'll check. I'll get you next. Yeah. If not, if he's not there, then you can have one of my old Annie's. <laughs> it is? Okay, great. Great, great, great. He's there. Yeah. You're sure of it? Fantastic. Shrug the young goat. <laughs> Diz in the house. Diz with the... With, Diz with the Z. <laughs> Yeah, number one hype man. <laughs> Notice, I love the name. It just makes me think of uh, Ginger, the Doojank. All right, Zealot. Let's see. Eighteen ten eight. Pretty decent, honestly. Pretty decent. I'm just gonna drop it here for you. Uh, actually, we'll do it in town. We'll do it in town. Come on. <laughs> it's just one click away. Uh, let's see, what was this? Jeans. There we go. Oh, you're part of um, Ginger's kinship, true. And you know he's there, so you might have TP. TP's on. <laughs> Not for me. Ah, oh, super light. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> do, 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 do. Did you get the two dreams? I didn't, no, no, no. Instead, I made a cold sauce. Yeah, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit because I found a Death Fathom. We found the Death Fathom and I really wanted to use it. So I made a cold sauce. But we will make a dream at some point in time. We'll make the... We'll get it up and running. Where is this little fucker? Yeah, because we have the wealth to do it if we just did some trades. We definitely have the wealth to do it. He's up. Up to the left. To the left, to the left. Ooh, skill shrine. Did I? Did I run past him? Where is he? What the fuck? 
He might have despawned, man. Uh, wasn't Bishibosh right there? Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Alright, what we'll do... Oh, man, that's such shit luck. I'm going to drop one of my old Annie's in town. It's not much. It's not much. But I'd like you to have it. Because it'll just be collecting dust. Um, 10, 16, 7. In town. It's actually kind of nice getting a shit one to start. Because that means that the next one, you're still looking forward to it, you know? If you got a 20, 20, 10 off, the, off rip, then... Um, then what's there to look forward to? How's that for some cope? Bad luck, man. Bad luck, Gene. There's gonna be another one in an hour, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you wanna hang around. <laughs> Alright, Palacella, nice! Got work in 15, can you help? Yeah, absolutely. We'll get you next, cause you're on the clock. Who is it? Ryan. We'll get you next, Ryan. Oh, I'm not on a switch. <laughs> I was hitting with my sword. I was like, damn. No crushing blow procs. So unlucky. <laughs> on what server? I assume the next one's on Asia as well. But I haven't double checked. Yeah. Uh, all these SOJs just duped. Um, I think if they're happening this frequently, there's a good chance that they're botted. Yeah. I don't know... Yeah, oh, bad luck. Yeah, I don't know how to tell between duped and botted, but... Yeah, I assume a lot are botted. Flame Badger! Can I tell you? It's to die for, bro. To fucking die for. <laughs> Come, please don't steal. Appropriate. Appropriate to say that. <laughs> Because I thought about it with that one. I fucking thought about it, Badger. Holy moly. The audacity, though, to steal on live stream. <laughs> Goddamn. Wait, who are we getting next? We're getting, uh, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, if I come in and help you, then the one thing that I ask is that we can just ID it on stream. Just so we can all can see. And then I'll drop it for you. Red fire. Oh, and we got the troll coming to help out too. Thanks, troll. Nicholas, welcome to the MG, man. Thanks so, so much for supporting the channel, bro. That's one more goblin, boys. One more goblin. <laughs> Help me, Annie. <laughs> I like the name. All right. What we got for you? We'll be quick because you got to go to work. <laughs> oh, oh, eighteen, twelve, five. That's pretty mid. The five hurts. The five stings. Wait, can he get there? He should be able to get there. Yeah, beauty. All right, who we got? Help me, Annie. <laughs> Let's do that one. <laughs> also, nice password. AU for Australia, right? <laughs> you got a 1795? Man, 1719 is like so good, but just the five, the five stings, doesn't it? Nah, that's actually pretty good. That would be a big upgrade. That, that sort of one would be really good for like this dude, for like a smiter. Because it's like the XP doesn't fucking matter for this guy. It's all about the stats, you know? 
but like for my source, like I want that 10 XP so much. Especially since I'm doing a thousand bail runs with her. So it's kind of like for the next 900 bail runs. 18.13.9, that's a really good one. 18.13.9, that's really nice. Enjoy. All right, who we got? We still need people out there that need help. Yep, I can still see game names. Um, Firen, 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 X. Beautiful. And we got Ryan. Welcome to the MG, man. Wait, is that the same Ryan that we just gave a hand to? Yeah. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Yeah. I just love this emoji that we got so much. <laughs> I just can't stop spamming it. <laughs> just makes me happy looking at it. Whoa, oh my god. Everyone's here. It's a fucking firing. Your Ubers, your decline is going down. Look at that. Don't even need me. Oh. Okay. Wait, was that the mosaic that just did that? Good thing there were multiple people in the game. Okay, let's do a different one. Let's do a different one. I wasn't needed there anyway. I wasn't needed there anyway. Game crashing you too? That's the fucking assassin's fault. That's straight up the assassin's fault. Wait, let's join real quick so the game doesn't get deleted. Hopefully one person wasn't DC'd. And we'll do you afterwards, Alf. Okay. Game's still there. Oh my god. Everyone got yeeted and deleted. Literally everyone. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> There's meteors, bro. <laughs> Alright, fire in... 17-17-5. All that needs is plus three to sorcerer skills, and then you'll be golden. Sorry, that's such a... Such a deep callback. The first torch of season three was 1717 source. For those that, re that remember. Yeah. Don't expect you to remember every torch that I do in previous seasons, but, you know, it would be nice if you did. My pleasure, man. I'm glad that the game didn't get deleted. Um, we're in Cold Plains. Ah, and I think it's time to crack open this mug of wine that's just been sitting there. Sitting there waiting patiently for the past three and a half hours. Oh, it's good stuff. It's, it's essentially decanted. 17, 19, 9. Beautiful. Beautiful Annie. Beautiful Annie. Amazing. The muggiest of wines. It's good. Like, I feel like... Wine, at least red wine for me. At least the red wine I drink. The really shit stuff. It tastes infinitely better, like, once it's got some air to it. Yeah. Thanks so much to the troll as well for helping out. Ten... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think... Wait, let me just check the stash. Let me just check the stash. I think I might have... An older one that you can have instead of that. We've got an... You can have this one. If you want. A 1910-6. Because that's the fucking ugliest thing that I've ever seen. 10 13 5. Is that okay? Thanks? Okay. That's okay. I just couldn't give that to him. That's just... It's too, too cruel. What did he do to deserve that? All right. What else do we have here? Anyone, anyone else that still needs a hand, just post your game, post the game name again, and then we'll help you out. Nice guy, bro. Ah, oh, it's I play this game so much, honestly, that it's like <laughs> not everyone has as much time as me to play. So yeah, the least I could do. I don't think the emote is meant to be me. It's the goblin emote, yeah. Uh, do we have a background on the troll emote story? It's hilarious. Yeah, it does kind of look like the troll, doesn't it? It's just a, it's a goblin. Yeah, but it doubles up as the troll as well. Yeah. And then we've got three more coming pretty soon. And there'll be more after for sure, because they look so good, I think. Um, 
and it's like nice to use like money from channel memberships to like go back into channel memberships you know um but yeah the next one the next batch of three there's one in particular that i'm so excited for which is the garbage emoji which i just think looks so fucking sweet yeah because it's hard to get things to translate to an emoji um but the garbage one i think really well will really really well um Honestly, the amount of stuff that rots in my stash and ladder progresses. <laughs> if I have time to play this season, I fully hope to offload it as I get it and not hoard it. Yeah, right? That have, I have so much that stuff like that as well. It just, like, sits there and it's, like, too good or too rare or too valuable to just, like, put in the bin. But it's just sits there going to waste, you know? So, yeah, giving, giving it away feels nice, doesn't it? Any left? I can't believe it. Any, 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 any left? A greedy little goblin, yeah. <laughs> I just, I'll give it another minute or two, because last time we kind of like went back and then came back to the Asia server like twice. Um, we got them all. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, wait, let's, I think there's another one. Oh no, I think that was it. I think that was it. The next one is in 20 hours, I think. Yeah. So let's ju just jump over to the source and um, yeah. So you can hold that. And we need to add this into our uh, Death Fathom. That's what we're going to do. Got that there. I think that's everything. <laughs> Why did the game move when you joined? It's because Cows is terrorized. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Times have changed. I remember in LOD 2020s would go for at least 10 bear runes. Yep. Yep. Exactly what, you, exactly what you're saying, Hill. Bots. Yeah. Bots just tank the price of Annie's like nobody's business. Yep. Shmack, thank you so much. I don't want to mooch off the kitchen too much. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. Honestly, my pleasure. Man, the kinship sound fucking awesome. Like, I'm kind of jealous, you know? It's like, being on Ginger when he's streaming, he's just got people in a Discord call. It's like, oh, man. It's so sick. I want to join. All right. What are we going to do? Put that over. Put that over. Put on our Tarn Helm, obviously. Our fucking glorious new Annie. 10 experience gained. And we might need to make a new game. Yeah, we just gotta go to like Nightmare to add a socket to our, um, our shit, but also beautiful Death Fathom that I'm very attached to. The only one that I've ever found. What endgame gear does a source still need? Great question, man. Good question. We need a new hat. So either a shaker or a night wings would be ideal. Um, we want three piece towels. So towels ammy, towels armor, towels belt. Haven't found a towels belt yet. Towels with my rules, because I've already found a towels ammy, I'm allowed to trade for it. But I need to find a Tal's armor and Tal's belt. Um, we need better rings. Uh, we got mid chances. We need better boots. And we need better charms for sure. And a better call to arms would be nice. 
But yeah, the next big upgrade would be a new hat for sure. Afternoon. And probably an Oki. <laughs> or a better desk fathom. Yeah. Alright. So we get to add 3-5 cold skiller. Oh yeah! Brings it up to plus 22 damage. 22%. <laughs> Still such a bad roll on the death fathom. Yeah. GGM MG collab. Yeah, you can be the bridge between us, Gene. <laughs> you can be the bridge between the communities. Um, I'll get you an ISP. We can put it in the death fathom. Ah, uh, DPS. If I, I feel like if you're wearing a death fathom, you want to go all in on the DPS, right? If you're wearing Oki, I always put ist. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I know Cows is terrorized, but I'm just going to do another battle run. It's just for four more minutes. Right, let's, let's buff up, baby. Hop into terrorized Cows. Yeah, it's just for four minutes. So I'll just, I'll just do this. Yeah, good call, Derek. Yeah. Don't forget to um, like the stream if you like it, dudes. Or dislike it if you dislike it. What did the CTA roll? <laughs> oh, Diz, why are you gonna do me like that, dog? It rolled, um. It rolled 422. Yeah, so shit roll. Just not a good roll. Could be worse. Could be worse, but. Pretty horrible. Damn, that sucks, yeah. At least we got the two, though. Could have been a one. Need to get you to 105 um, FCR quick. Yeah, what are we... Oh my god, we're not even at 63. Don't look. Avert your eyes. <laughs> Avert your eyes. It's like, once you're used to 105, it's like so hard to go back. Got an arm for the 2019-9. Amazing! Now you can roll your second call to arms! Huge! Good luck with it, Evidence. Uh, got 4-3 on the first one in ladder. Oh, bro. I mean... If, if my first call to arms was 4-3... Then it would be a while before I re-rolled it. I'd have to be very rich to re-roll that. <laughs> Although, that being said, mine at the moment is 4-2 and I'm complaining about it, so... It's like, not that far off. Good luck. 5-boo on the first, yeah. If you got 5-boo straight up, then it's like, oh... Done and dusted, you know? That's it. That's me set. Okay, I don't know if it's hella subjective, but I can kind of feel the damage of the rave, the um, the wh whatever it's called. What's it called? Facet. I almost called it Ravenfrost for a second. Rainbow Facet. Uh, come to sticks one when done on the run. What's what's over there? <laughs> What's over there, Stoxy? <laughs> what am I walking into? Oh, Smolly. <laughs> oh, okay, Kane. Do us good, Kane. Don't fuck me around. Rainbow Frost, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an ice cream. Don't do me dirty, Kane. If this is plus one to de de defense, I swear to God. It's not, not horrible. I'll forgive you. It's just a small charm after all. What are the odds he gives us a godlike one? I'm too harsh. Frozen orb is such a fun skill. Agreed. Agreed. Sue, is this a good terror zone? So many unique packs. 
Man, let's go do a sewers. I don't know. I don't remember it being amazing. <laughs> but I haven't done it a lot. Whoa. Did you see that texture texture glitch? The enemies in here should melt, right? Yeah, Frozen Orb is just one of my favorite skills in the game. Just like, the fact that it hits everything is just, oh, it just makes it so fun. And like, it looks so fucking cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't think this is a bad Terra Zone. But I wouldn't call it great either. Like, when you're comparing it to, just like comparatively. Looks way worse in D4. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. There's a lot of graphical things that like people are kind of like, oh, this looks shit in D4. And I'm like, yeah, it looks fine to me. But 100% agree with you there that the Frozen Orb in D2 is like insanely better than the Frozen Orb in D4. Too many missiles in this terror zone, yeah. <laughs> Gothic Axe. What is that again? The Gothic Axe? Um, Templar, did I miss some context? <clears throat> what's the question, what's the question mark about? Jewel. I found another um, Cinnabar Jewel. Oh, 7ED. Which is 15, which was 15 IAS, 6 ED jewel. Such debate. Actually, such debate. Uh, I'm a 90 summon necro and have pretty much the close to the best gear for it. Where do you think I should farm? Like with corpse explosion. I think those necros do really well in high density areas. Um, just for your corpse explosion, right? So, great in the pit, great in chaos, great in cows. They're the three places that spring to mind first. Um, but keep in mind that I'm not like a necro... A necro bro. Yeah, so that's just... That's just first in my first thoughts. You guys would you guys will know more than me. Ooh, circlet. Cirky. That would give us one mod of source skills. <laughs> but the MF is just too good. The MF is just too good. That's sell though. Hey Spats, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. You just missed a couple of D clones. Alright, let's go back here. Can Max Roll has good guides? Yeah. Yeah, Max Roll has great guides. Can show you, yeah, where um where certain builds farm well. Yep. Ooh, just found an 8% ED, 4 socket, ethereal cryptic axe. Is that worth something? I think that would be worth something for sure. I don't know how much. Cryptic, cryptic axes are weird. Because it's kind of like... It's, it's a little bit like the Archon Plate Mage Plate argument for Enigmas. It's just like, what's best? So... For like stuff like Infinity, for a Merc, 
or like even insight you know I would say the majority of people would say oh Brad thank you so much man 10 gifted memberships thank you so much Brad so generous dude that's 10 more goblins baby that's 10 more goblins 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Thanks so much, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks, Brad. Yeah, like, um... It's, it, like, Cryptic Axes, to me, are a little bit like the Mage Plate Archon Plate split for, like, an Enigma base. Where it's like, I feel like most people for, like, stuff like Infinity would say the best base for a Merc for Infinity is, like... Um, man catches, threshers, or giant threshers. I, I feel like most people would say that, but some people prefer cryptic axes, which like do more damage but attack sl more slowly. So it's like I feel like in general, other bases are preferred, but you'll still find some people that prefer cryptic axes, and it's still a great base. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, and personally, I think cryptic axes look so fucking cool like so cool looking yeah it is so much value yeah I mean 8% 8, 8 ED is really nice but what I'm trying to tell you essentially what I'm trying to tell you is that I've got no fucking idea <laughs> I think it's I think it would be worth something for sure, but I just don't know how much. Yeah. Hey, thanks for tuning in, Ben. Yeah. All the best, dude. I just love seeing that army of goblins. That makes me so happy. Goblin squad is growing. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The degeneracy is strong with these ones. <laughs> yeah, put it up on Tradery, see what someone offers. Or better yet, look up recent trades for like ethereal cryptic axes around that, around that ED. Like if you put the range at 6 to 10 or something. Oh, yes! Essence, baby. These are worth too much. <laughs> These are worth more than they should be. <laughs> like, people try and sell them for ist runes. A token is worth an ist rune. We love essences. But I can offload this on Tradery pretty easy for two keys. Yeah. Essence of Destruction. Like, it's just it's not hard. It's amazing. Schmack, I got some things for you. Make a game. <sighs> Pally, you know how I feel about the free, though. Although, we did give Pally a 1520 Assassin Torch. <sighs> it's, is, is it stuff that, like, I'd want to find myself? You know what I mean? Is it stuff I'd want to find? myself is it going to be too generous <laughs> we're a community this isn't for each <laughs> true yeah communism baby uh where do we put this there possibly <laughs> uh, i gotta say thank you so much man but i yeah I couldn't. I couldn't. Not this early in ladder. I couldn't. Yeah. But it will help you find more true <laughs> magic find. Oh, the temptation. <laughs> Devil's mistress, you. <laughs> no, I couldn't. But thank you so much, man. Wait, let me just rewrite down this essence or else I'll forget. That's the seventh... Seventh essence. In... 114 bell runs. 
I don't know if that's lucky or unlucky. I think it's like 1 in 16. I can't do that maths in my head. <laughs> Found a perfect um, Shaco yesterday from Pindle. Congrats, 141. I found um, I found a perfect one from Pindle before as well. It's just so nice. It's so nice getting that perfect defense. It feels so good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that few drinks. I don't think it's... Well, I guess maybe. It's just that I've played it for a long time, so you just accumulate knowledge. Yeah. But I definitely don't have a good mechanical understanding of the game. Like how mechanics work and interact with each other. Like that's just not... That's just not... That's just not my lane. But I do remember stupid information about how things roll. That's my head's full of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it was an Oki. Oh, dude. So generous, man. Any progress on offers for the small charm? Yes, I think the latest offer, last time I checked, the latest highest offer was a jar and a low rune. I think that was the latest highest one. Um. Oh, except someone made one 15 minutes ago. Wait, was this you? What? <laughs> or is it just fortuitous that you asked? Ooh, Ami! Bear and a low rune! Chipped skull! Three hours ago! That was you! Bear and a low rune! Wait, maybe we should put it to the people! For a 20 life, 11 lightning res small charm. Bear and a low rune. What do you reckon, boys? For context, at the end of last season, they were trading for four jar runes. But like, this is the start of the season. Tell him to take the chip skull. <laughs> chip skull. <laughs> sell it? PCS record sell it? We can get more if we wait, but a bear and a low rune. Money now? Should we counter? We want bear jar? Yeah, true. We do want a jar for a dream. <gasps> Ethereal? Oh, no. Okay. V gaze. We've already found one of these this season. It rolled 816. So, we want better than 816. Eight? Oh, 15. So close. <laughs> so close. Damn. Oh, well, I'll get an ethereal one of these one day. Sweet find. Sweet find. You can ignore the rest. Where's your Shaco? If you squint, that kind of looks like Shaco, right? You know? You just squint a lot. Um, no, I haven't found one yet. Yeah, I haven't found one yet. So, we're just rolling with the Tarnhelm for now. Remarkably fashionable Tarnhelm. Yep, yeah, rocking the classic Enigma Tarnhelm combo. Bear and Low Rune, that's actually tempting. That's actually tempting. Sell the charm. Yeah, I'm gonna counter offer. Put it right there. I just gotta write this down. 
the V gaze or else I'll forget. That's helm. Though to make an ethereal fortitude. But it's like an ethereal fortitude for who, you know? Hmm. What would I do with a bear and a low rune? As for, for Bill. <laughs> hey. No respect for Miz. We need to trade for gear for your dream. Yeah, the Tesla and dream. Hey, Nimble, welcome to the stream. I'm just tossing up what to do with this offer for the small charm. Someone offered a bear and a low. We could counter. Why don't we counter? Why don't we counter bear jar? How about that? We counter bear jar. And see if they bite. For what small charm? It's... A small charm that I found in a public Nightmare Bell game. And it is this one. 20 life, 11 lightning res. It would piss them off. A bear low schmuck. A bear low. <laughs> you know what actually be good, Tomac? A bear emoji would be kind of cool, right? <laughs> Just because the way I say it. Amazing how much people pay for that extra few life. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. It's nonsense. <laughs> but the perfectionism in all of us. A bear with a bear rune, yeah, just like <laughs> with it in its mouth or something. What charm? This this little guy here. This un unassuming little thing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna counter bear jar. We'll see if he takes it. And if he doesn't, that's fine. Because if he doesn't, then we just wait. And it'll be worth more with time. 20 life small charms explain why NFTs to a cop. <laughs> you don't understand, boys. You don't understand. This is non-fungible. Non-fungible. No way I'm paying that much for that. Oh, I mean, it's an outrageous way to spend your high runes. It's outrageous. It's a very rich thing to do. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's the, that's the market, baby. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Counter. Counter bear jar. If he denies, then whatever, you know? Then we just wait. Then we just play the waiting game even longer. Yeah, Diz, we've got to be greedy. Greedy little goblins. If you will. If I wasn't being greedy, then something would be wrong. It's a sign we're in good health. Ooh, oh, wait, that's crap. <laughs> you see a unique shadow paint, and you're like, oh, it's got to be good. But alas, fucking steel carapace. It's not horrible. It's not amazing either, is it? <laughs> it's not amazing. And you know, we got <laughs> the Death Star. Still, Carapace, I think, makes it into the Tabale, though, because it's pretty uncommon. Steel Carapace. 
Um, do you know the reason my default druids are obese? <laughs> no. <laughs> they didn't let me in on that little secret in my um in my monthly call with the with Blizzard developers. I mean to me they just look super jacked. They just look like uh huge power lifters or like bodybuilders. Strong men. Yeah. Oh JD! Got a 55. Oh yeah, with your 15 fucking bear runes. <laughs> you could roll so many. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. I assume it's... You're gonna sell it? Yeah, keep it rolling. <laughs> keep, keep the party rolling. I mean, it's like that with torches sometimes. It's just like, once you're rich enough, you, I feel like you can just get a cycle of torches. If you just find one like this, then that literally funds like fucking 10 more torches. Found a 19L 19, 9 light res small charm. All I can get is ist offers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's nonsense. It's just the difference between that and this is so little, but so far. You know? It's like. It makes little sense. Yeah. That was right at the start of the stream, Hill. Yeah, at the start of the stream, I'd farmed up 10 torches to ID. Yeah, and this was one of them. 1720. <laughs> and somewhere in the middle of the stream, Hill, it wasn't for me, but we did Ubers for spawn and ID'd a 1920 source torch for him. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous stuff. 1920. That that one really hurt to give back. Wanna duel me for this small chart? If you win, I give you four bears. <sighs> I'm not a jeweler. I'm not a jeweler. Oh! Yes! Our Smiter's gonna love this! Our Smiter's gonna love this! T Gods! Oh, yes! Almost worth dying for. Not quite, though. Oh, now he can get off that stupid string of ears. <laughs> Max light resist, lightning absorb. That's beautiful. That's gonna bring him up to 95 lightning rares. Amazing. First T Gods of the season. Beautiful. Found a T-Gods day one in cows. It's such a good belt. It's literally such a good belt. There's buff up. Buff up. And we'll go there. Go there. Rune bow. What is this? Wait, is that good? Mage Wrath. Doesn't seem good. Three twenty nine life worth an ist? Oh, that'll be worth more than an ist, for sure. Three twenty nine? Did you just find that dilly? Um, got this item today, this morning. A guy traded you it with you for a covrune. Oh yeah, they're not worth very much, T gods. They're not worth very much, 
but having one is really useful yeah because that's just a direct upgrade for the smiter yeah it's just a nice find the first one's really nice after that i care significantly less about them Hello. significantly less Uh, it was 193 enhanced defense, or was it at least a male? Oh, true, I didn't even check. <laughs> uh, have you played Project Diablo 2? I have not yet. I haven't. Um, I don't know if people care that much about little defense, though. Oh, they do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah. Especially if it's perfect, then they definitely care about that. Yeah. Ooh, you dearie me. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I feel like I can really feel that facet. But I switched to D4 at launch. I'm definitely going to play D4 at launch. Yeah. Yeah, definitely going to play D4 at launch. Um, and I'm going to play it for as long as I'm enjoying it for, yeah, ultimately, yeah. Like, if I'm having fun playing it, then I'm going to keep playing it, yeah. Just follow where the fun is, really, yeah. Yeah, I've heard really um, good things about Project Diablo 2, um, Vandal. Yeah. Just never really had a good time. Yeah. Haven't really felt like it's the right time for me to dive in just yet. I would play Zelda. I'm playing Zelda on Switch. Um, yeah, I've got it on my Switch. I played it for like... I got it the day it came out, and I played it for like two hours. I haven't really kind of... It hasn't hooked me yet, you know? The first game was like that too, that it kind of took, it could, took me a while to kind of get into it. And then I ended up like enjoying the first one. It's just like, I'm not like obsessed with it. I think part of that is because like I never played Zelda as a kid, so it's like got no, there's no nostalgic stuff for me. You know, I really like Breath of the Wild, you know, I had a fun time, but I wasn't like, you know, obsessed with it. Yeah. That's all. So, can I confirm? So if this is not ethereal, you don't even bother with it? Is that correct? Nice IS on that. How old am I? I... So I'm so cagey about it. Just because, like, it's one of the security questions. But I'm in my late 20s to early 30s. <laughs> yeah. Probably about as old as I look. Yeah. <laughs> Say Tears of Kingdom is better than Breath of the Wild. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I did this, I'm like right at the start, but I did this boss fight that was like so fun. It was like all of these cubes and like one of the cubes, like you could do damage to, and you had to like dismantle this cube structure that kept reforming itself. It was like such a fun design. It was like... Out, it was like super easy, but still really fun, you know? 
Yeah. So, I, I, it bodes well. Bodes very well. Yeah, the games that I'm most hyped for now... But I'll, I'll get back to that thought. I think a, a, a very realistic scenario, back to D4 and Diablo 2, is like eventually me kind of, you know, jumping between games a little bit. Yeah. And hopefully you guys come along for the ride. Um, but like, you know, like coming over here or going over there for seasons or and stuff like that <clears throat> yeah could absolutely brick the channel <laughs> could absolutely brick the channel kind of fragmenting it like that but yeah we'll see just gonna play it by feel yeah um but what was i gonna say Oh yeah, one of the games I'm most excited for is the Elden Ring DLC. And Silk Song. Except I've kind of like not allowed myself to get excited for Silk Song. Because it's kind of like I was excited about it three years ago. <laughs> I was excited for it literally three or four years ago. Being like, ah oh, yeah, can't wait till next year when it's gonna come out. And then here we are, <laughs> four years down the line. <laughs> Still, no Silk Song. Troll took a week off work for, for D4, I assume. That's amazing. That's what I did for D2R. I used my, um, my annual leave. And my boss at the time was like, Oh man, it'd be really great if you could do it like a week or two earlier. And I was like, that wouldn't work. That just wouldn't work. It has to be now. For this reason. <laughs> Hard to say if chat's frozen. You know how sometimes it freezes? I guess you could all be quiet. But yeah. Oh no, there you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. <laughs> okay, you were frozen. I missed so much. I apologize. Um, D4 will be bad on release, but it'll get good with time. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely one of the games that's going to evolve, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like most games kind of do. Most games of that type, genre. Ooh. 20 IES, Lightning, Fire Res... Tented decks. If only that had skills on it. <laughs> if only. Still pretty good though. Um. Wow, you killed those minions pretty fast. What did you upgrade to make your or frozen orb stronger? Uh, we got a rainbow frost. <laughs> rainbow frost in the death battle. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Glorious Death Fathom. Working healthcare, you gotta take time for yourself every now and then. Why not for a game launch? Yeah, absolutely. Fucking literally can't think of a better reason. You know, as if, if it's a game like as close to your heart as the Diablo franchise, then absolutely, man. Um, let's see here. Uh, what I miss? What else did I miss? You're along for the ride for sure. Oh, thanks, Jason. Yeah. D2 or the Goblins Riot. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to be very turbulent jumping over and playing D4. But at the end of the day, you just got to do what you want to do, you know? Yeah. 
Like, there'll definitely be people that are like, This game is shit. I only liked you when you played D2. Yeah, but that's just that's just part of the gig, I guess. I'm not liking the FOMO D4 ladder stuff. What do you mean by that? What what are you referring to? FOMO D4 ladder stuff. D2 is difficult to beat. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anything will beat this game. You know, I think this game will be the best game that I've ever played. But that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy playing other games. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not like, like, I think this is the best game of all time and it always will be, but I'm also not married to it. You know what I mean? Thanks. One socket. Um, I want to be excited for D4, but I just don't have the hype. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. I'm married to it, but it's an open relationship. That's actually probably a better way to describe it, Sippy, for me too. Yeah, that's actually probably more accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2 is overrated. I never played those. Yeah. I played all the um, Arkham Knight games. Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. They're the same developer, right? Like, uh, Rocksteady, is it? Yeah. Love the um, Arkham Asylum games. Like, actually so fucking good. Especially the first two. The first two were, like, god tier. And I played them at a time where I was just like, that's literally all I cared about with video games. It was just like, oh, so happy. Yeah. Ario, welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah, going well. How are you going? Oh, okay. Fate has brought us to the Halls of Pain. So, let's do a nearly dilly run. Because when fate brings you here, fate being muscle memory, then you just gotta trust it. Ooh, that was quick, wasn't it? God damn. Just blew up in a second. Oof, that feels good. Rockstar, okay, Rockstar. My bad. My bad. Keep trying to change it so you, so you can see my name, but no avail. Yeah, I know, the mystery man. The mystery man. I'll just call you Smithers. <laughs> just because yeah, I can see a, a, a Simpsons um, character in your um, picture. I'm not sure which character that is. I wasn't allowed to watch Simpsons as a kid. Too crass. I was allowed to murder demons in Diablo though, that's fine. Uh, I would love some new challenge mechanics for D2R. Like challenge modes. Like golden skulls. I think like, um, Cooley made a video about it actually. Uh, alluding to the fact that the fact that they took away knockback from BK Sacred Charge could mean that they're willing to change, you know, unique items in the future. You know, chuck some godlike stats on the grandfather, Tyrael's might, Mag songs, 
all of this stuff that's so rare that you never use. And for me, that would breathe so much new life into DJR. Like, I think that would be an incredible change and entirely plausible that they did that. Yeah. Lionel Huts? Okay. Lionel it is. <laughs> Lionel it is. The only one that Rocksteady made was Arkham Origins, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wait, wasn't that bad? <laughs> wasn't that one of the bad ones? <laughs> Arkham Origins? Yeah, the first two... Arkham Asylum and Arkham City were fucking, oh, so good, man. Man, just like the Joker, the story with the Joker in those was just, oh, so fucking good. The gameplay, oh, the combat, like the combo system, how it felt when you hit someone, and like the finisher moves, man, they just fucking nailed it. PlayStation 3 had some absolute bangers. Absolute bangers on the PlayStation 3. God of War 3 was PlayStation 3. Dark Souls and Demon Souls were PlayStation 3. Arkham Asylum, obviously. Uncharted. Uncharted 1 and 2 were PlayStation 3. Goaded, exactly spawn. Oh, exactly. Man, I'm so nostalgic for Uncharted 1 and 2. Those two specifically, I'm so nostalgic for. Um, God, I could replay one Uncharted 1. I could replay the shit out of that. Killzone 2. I remember... I remember, like, the art for Killzone very clearly. Yeah, like, the fucking head of that, like, trooper with, like, the red eye. Stream it? If I could find a way to do it, like, set it up, then I absolutely would. Because I want to do the same for the Elden Ring DLC. Like, stream that. Like, whenever that comes out. You can't play Uncharted on PC, can you? Anyone remember Resisted? Yes. XCOM, of course. Yeah. XCOM 2. It's great. Uh, Elden Ring is so hard on some bosses. Which ones? I mean, I... Oh, okay, we're here again. Goddamn. <laughs> How does this keep happening? Yeah, I use fucking just broken builds a lot in Elden Ring that are just like... Just way too strong. Still some bosses are hard, even with like just a stupidly broken build. Like right at Elden Ring's launch, the Sword of Night and Flame was just... Nonsense. But it was so fun. It was so fun. It was so astoundingly overpowered. The Sword of Night and Flame. It got nerfed so hard. But, oh, goddamn. That was fun. Pre nerf. Milena with only a two hander was rough. Every couple of years I pull out the Dreamcast and play some crazy taxi. Now that was pre that was before my time. Also a game that I love Okay, you're gonna laugh at me. Is I love Little Big Planet. I love it. It's so fun. It's just mindless, happy fun. Little Big Planet. It's just a fucking sack boy. Just 
just collecting, just collecting shit. <laughs> 10 out of 10. You've got 10 crazy minutes? What do you mean? Oh, 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 crazy taxi, right, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. That's what I thought first to spawn. I was like, decline in 10 minutes? But I think they're talking about crazy taxi. Wait, let me just look at the progress tracker. I think it said the next one was in 20 hours. Yeah, 19 hours. Yeah. Alas. Alas. <laughs> Next to close tomorrow, yeah. Little Big Planet's awesome. Yes, Michael. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. When was the last gear check? Uh, we could do it. We can do it. Um, let's do it now. We'll do it in between waves. We've got to go super fast, though. Death Fathom, Tarnhelm, Enigma, Seraphs, Spirit, uh, Rare Booties, 25 Nagel, Gold Wrap, <gasps> 27, 17 Magic Find, and 31 Chanties. <laughs> Did you get all that? <laughs> Wait, we should check Tradery as well, see if that guy responded to my outrageous, my outrageous counter offer. Okay. No response there. Oh, he cancelled. He cancelled it. <laughs> I think he cancelled it. Fair. Kind of fair. It was a pretty outrageous counter offer. Did I... F Did I say D-Web? Instead of Death Fathom? Oh, my bad. Death Fathom. The Unfathomable's Death Fathom. Oh. Guess I'll take it now. I guess I'll take it. 17 cold with a... with the 3-5 facet. Yep, exactly. <laughs> They announced Hardcore Classic WoW servers this summer. I haven't heaps of people been playing that recently. I've seen that pop up on my YouTube recommended. Like Asmongold reacting to it. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah. Classic schmuck homepage. <laughs> Wait, we want to turn right. <sighs> Are we playing it? Super fun. Yeah, I think I would find that super fun as well. Now, I've never dived into WoW, but it's definitely my type of game. Like, definitely. 26 cold res on a Grand Champ, good. Uh, it's like nice to have. It's like nice to have. Yeah, in your inventory. But it's not worth anything. Yeah. Yeah. For example, like, my Smiter at the moment has a Grand Charm that's got, like, similar cold res with, like, plus 30 life on it. And he has that in his inventory. Yeah. But, yeah, not worth anything. Unfortunately. Ooh. Excuse me. Stop that. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yep. A swig of wine will help with the yawns.
damn fine cup of coffee. To be honest, I wish I never got into online multiplayer games. I used to replay so many single player games, now I can't really play them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, for me, it's like... For me, a lot of it is kind of like I just... Like, when I, when I was a teenager, it was literally all I cared about, literally all I cared about was video games. Like, I, like, I was either playing it, and I think part of it, what's actually, is very much for, for the good, is like, I wasn't allowed to kind of like, indulge in the binge too hard you know like on weekdays we're allowed to play for an half an hour and on weekends we're allowed to play for an hour but that rule kind of like disintegrated into my later teens and i could play quite a bit more than that but it's like i was either playing it or like i was consuming information about it like either the game i was playing but just every game like i was so interested in like learning about watching the trailers for every game, finding out when they're coming out, watching reviews, watching videos of like people's top 10 games, you know. I was just obsessed, man. And like planning, I'd be planning things that I was gonna do the next day in the game, you know. Like, it was just my world. Yeah, and it was great. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> But then you kind of grow up, you know, and just kind of like, that falls away a little bit. But then you start a YouTube channel, and then here we are again. <laughs> We're back. Full circle. <laughs> and now you might D2 for a job, yeah. <laughs> for a living. For a living. <laughs> yeah. Outrageous. <laughs> An outrageous turn of events. <laughs> It just makes so, it just makes so much sense that this is where I ended up. Like, it, it, it just makes, it's like, it's almost too poetic, you know, the way that it worked out. Because it's like, it's just perfect. It, it all somehow fell into place, you know, against all odds. I just, yeah, I was actually thinking about that earlier today. Yeah, aren't you a vet? I was a vet, I'm retired. Yeah, I was a vet. But that wasn't for me. I guess technically I am still. Yeah, but... Uh, that was just a... That was just a stepping stone to get here. Where I really want to be. That was a necessary stepping stone. For me to do something that I didn't want to do, I think. Yeah. To try and fill in the chip on my shoulder. <laughs> if you left the veterinary pro profession, are you a veteran veterinarian or a veterinary veteran? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I forgot your name. <laughs> the lawyer. <laughs> Former vet, current spider hit man. I love it. Yeah, I fucking straight up murdered that spider. Yeah. I went over there being like, oh yeah, I'll catch it and then re-release it into the wild. But... I got over there and I just panicked and I fucking murdered. I just murgered, mur murdered that beast. That eight legged beast. What's up, Tommy? Welcome to the stream, dog. As far as natural finds, we haven't had any amazing natural finds. Probably the best two 
are a V gaze that had a shit roll, uh, eight fifteen and a T gods, but we there were two D clone events. And we snagged an Annie with 10 XP gain, which I love. And at the very start of the stream, I, over the past two days, I farmed up 10 torches. And we ID'd this, Tommy. Look at this. 1720 source torch. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's money. <laughs> That's a couple of bear runes. If, if we wanted to offload it, but I think I'll keep it. Because I like it. So good, I know. It's, it's just, it's just nonsense. It's complete nonsense. Nope. Soul Torch would be worse than runes. Yeah, I think that's worth at least two bears. 1720. Chelsea food, really? Yeah. <laughs> Man, Chelsea has a quite a, a taste for uh, for caviar. Nope, 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 nope. But ironically. 2020 on buzz. We got so close. We ID'd a 1920 today. 1920 saws. Um, yeah, funnily enough, I think the best, the most valuable drop that we found all stream has been essences. Just green essences, essences which is crazy that, that's, that, that they're so valuable. But... Um, People just fucking hate doing bail runs, I guess. <laughs> Using a death fathom? Yep. I exactly, Ian. I, 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 I don't think it's... I wouldn't normally. I'd almost always use Oki. I mean, I don't have an Oki yet. I haven't found one yet. But... I just really wanted to use the death fathom. Because I found one. And I'm so excited by it still. Yeah, because I was looking for it for so long. You've been seeing a lot of great essences, kind of nuts. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I would offload them. That's what I've been doing. I've just been, like, offloading them for keys. And then so we can do more, like, torch ID things. Yeah. Torch IDs and giveaways. What's an Aki? Uh, uh, the Oculus? It's like a swirling crystal that's got three to all skills. What's the FCR? Is it 20 FCR? 50 magic find and like 20 all res? What's the FCR on Oki? Can't remember. Yeah. But the, the big thing, the big difference is it's got 50 magic find on an Oki. And Death Fathom doesn't have any magic find. That's, that's the big difference. Oh, we're full on cash. It's probably worth stashing that after this wave. So we can just pick those up. It's 30 FCR? Oh, really? Wow. There's no such thing as an Oki? <laughs> what do you call it then? Oculus? So many syllables. How do you guys get anything done if you have to pronounce all these syllables every time? Oculus is fast? <laughs> Not as fast as a Hotto though, yeah. Yeah, I wonder... Because ideally... We'd end up at the 105 breakpoint. But it might be a little bit annoying. A red plateau? Nah. It might be a little bit annoying getting there. Because you get 10. Do you get 10 from the three piece Tails bonus? That's the. That's what we're gunning for. Tails, Tails, Tails. 
might be a little bit annoying getting there. 105. We might have to just roll on 63. Your level 25 source is the 105 breakpoint? <laughs> Wait. No way. How is that possible? How? You can't even use Viper Magi at 25. Can you wear Spectral Shard at 25? Cap'n? <laughs> yeah, I was like... How's that even possible? Oh wait, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, dual spirits, of course, dual spirits. Ooh, booties. Ooh, got some good stuff on there. Okay. So, 70 from the spirits. Wait, okay, you've got lidless. Mage fist and rings. How much does Lidless give you? One spirit, yeah. How much do you get from uh, Lidless? Yeah, he, he's just got Spirit Sword and then Lidless Shield. I just don't know how much... Um, how, how much Lidless gives you. Never use the thing. 20? Elegant Blade! Gosh. Is that um, Blood Moon or something? Yeah. So wait. So wait, wait, wait. You've got 35 Spirit Sword, plus 20 from the Shield, 55, plus 20 from your Gloves, 75, and then 30 on Jewelry at level 25. Oh, and Stealth, of course! Yeah, you've got stealth as well. True. Okay, so it's actually pretty gettable. Damn. And tw Damn. He I'm rolling around on like 50, 50 FCR right now. <laughs> Don't even hit the 63 breakpoint. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. I think we could we could get it, but I'll tinker with gear later on. I mean, I only made this character... What day is it today? Tuesday. Yeah, I only made this character yesterday. Yeah. My level 89 source. <laughs> I play a lot of Diablo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we made this character yesterday. <laughs> God damn. Um, holy moly. Um, a lot of good loot can be found on Worldstone 2 and 3, I know. It's such good density, Worldstone. Kind of hurts to telly through it sometimes. But then it's also kind of like... If you're doing something a thousand times, like the extra time it takes to kill a couple of mobs on the way, it really adds up. <laughs> it really adds up. Which armor should I pair with Exile? So, if you're talking about for a spider, which you have to be, there are really two main options, right? Enigma or Chains of Honor. Personally, my personal preference is Enigma, purely just for quality of life. Just, yeah. Obviously, you'll be stronger with the Chains of Honor, add a charm. Ooh, it's a grand charm. Ooh, and two CBs. That's not ethereal. That's not ethereal. Yeah. So, personally, I prefer Enigma. But yeah, you'd be stronger with the Chains of Honor. Okie dokie. Ech. Gabash. Andy's! 
ethereal? Oh, not ethereal. Still amazing though. Still amazing. Still amazing. Okay, 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 okay. This rolls. This rolls. 100 to 150. 8. 8 to 10. And 25 to 30. 100 to 150. 8 to 10. 25 to 30. It's the 8 to 10 we care about the most. 9. 131. 26. That's pretty mid. That's pretty mid, boys. But still a great find. <laughs> still a great find. <laughs> Emilio's hard right now. <laughs> hey, Emilio's sticking with the cure. This doesn't do anything for me, the Andes. Cure gives me a beautiful, beautiful level one aura. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to dog you like that, bro, but, you know, you didn't see anything. Nice find. It is a really nice find. Okay, apparently that was a 10 minute bail run. <laughs> I for forgot to start the next wave. Aura comes in clutch. It's just so n nice. <laughs> Goblin D is nuts. <laughs> Um, does Exile's life tap proc often? Like, is it quick enough to help us against Ubers? Um, so the deal with Exile's life tap, it's kind of like, the way I use it at least, is I would often use the life tap wand to get the, just to get a guaranteed life tap to start. But then if you use a life tap wand to get the first life tap, if you have Exile, it means you'll never have to recast it. You'll never have to recast it. Yeah. So, there are certain six situations, like, where I just love having Exile. Is like, when you're doing Ubers and you're just surrounded by, like, a hundred million ads. And your life tap wears off and you have to switch and then cast it again. It's like, you'll never be in that situation because it'll always just be reprocking. Yeah. That's one of the things that I love about Exile. Yeah. But I usually, if I can be bothered before I engage, I'll just cast it with a wand. Except for like, Duriel, I, that, that can just proc itself, that's fine. Yeah. Like, Bale, it could just proc itself, that would be fine. Diablo, it could just proc itself, and that would be fine too. But, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Where's the life tap at? <laughs> Did you see KSI elbow that guy in the face? No, I didn't watch... I didn't watch the KSI fight. Yeah. I watched Boogie vs. Wings of Redemption, though. Yeah, that's... That's where the real action was at. Yeah. Uh, I will check it out now, though. So it was an illegal elbow. It has to be, right? I'm not allowed to do that in boxing. <laughs> Boogie Wings was hilarious. The tape. The tape was literally too, too good to be scripted. <laughs> like, literally too good to be scripted. <laughs> You could tell he was so embarrassed as well. <laughs> so embarrassed. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that actually happened. It was like surreal. It's like surreal watching it. I can almost just heal through Ubers um, with HP still on your zone. Really? Wait. I thought life still doesn't work on Ubers. But I could be wrong. Probably am. Oh, three to light. That's really nice. Three to light, Ami. K 
KSI thinks he's gonna beat Tommy Fury. Oh my god. Like, I have followed like the YouTube boxing a little bit. Not like the one that iDubs does, but like followed like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, KSI a little bit. But mainly because in the first couple of Jake Paul fights, I put money on him to win. Like when he what when he versed like Nate Robinson, and then when he versed like uh, Ben Askren, I was like, oh my god, this is I can't believe I can't believe these odds are like this, you know. Um, but I just think Jake Paul is just like infinitely better than KSI at boxing. And if Jake Paul lost, then KSI is getting slapped. Absolutely bitch slapped. Yeah, Tommy Fury beat Jake. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jake Paul the Disney kid? Yeah. Yeah. But he's actually a good boxer. Like, he's actually a good boxer. Like, obviously he's a fucking douchebag. But he's actually good at boxing. Current gear, yeah. We got um, Death Fathom, Dimensional Shard, not to be mistaken with Dimensional Blade, Tarnhelm, Enigma, Seraphs, <laughs> uh, Spirit, just Magic Find on the Boots, uh, 25 Nagel, Gold Wrap, uh, 17 MF, and 31 Chanties. With a 10 XP Annie, this glorious torch we found today. 1720 madness and this small charm that we just turned down a bear and a low rune for and pretty nice geats 39 just a crappy sunder i got it for a lem rune and yeah the rest is just little baby little magic fun bits and bobs near the shaco mug yeah well i was saying earlier on in the stream i kind of have this kind of self-rule with at the start of ladder like I only trade for either runes keys or stuff that I've already found in ladder so I already found a couple of cold sunders so it's okay that I could trade for this and I already found a Tal's Ami, so in theory it would be okay for me to trade for a Tal's Ami. But I couldn't trade for Tal's Armor, for example. Yeah. And pay 7, draw 7. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, dude. Welcome back to the, um... Welcome back to the MG, man. Yeah. Lovely having you, you here as always. And we've got these glorious, uh... Glorious new Goblin Emoji. I'm so thrilled with and more to come as well more new emojis custom emojis to come I see we have a grizzle band enjoyer what's that what's grizzle band sounds scandalous oh I didn't start a new timer. <laughs> that battle run, the past two battle runs have gone for 10 and 7 minutes. <laughs> Grizzle Band went for the win? What the fuck is this thing? It's a magic card. Oh! As in Magic the Gathering? Fucking pay 7 life, draw 7 cards, is that it? I was actually wondering what that meant, pay 7, draw 7. Oh, that's huge. I haven't played Magic since I was a kid. Fuck yeah, this sweet elf deck. Yeah, it's such a baller elf deck. It was like across expansions though. That makes sense. What are they called? What are the little symbols in Magic called? It like combined lots of those just because we had a just a random mixed match, match of cards. Sets. It was across sets. That's what it is.
Quit being a noob and take the cube out of your inventory. <laughs> Why? Just so you get more space. Ah, Andy's. I like it having it there for quality of life. Yeah. A lot of the decisions I make in Diablo are just like, oh, just convenience, you know. Although in the Nova Source last season, she was pretty min-maxed. She had her TP scrolls here. It's pretty min-max, just to save two spots. Did you find the cube open? I tried it, and then I didn't really like it. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Leave it the way it is, yeah. I'm sure I'd get used to it, but... I don't like change. <laughs> <laughs> we're not MG, we're Goblin. <laughs> the Goblin Army. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one battle hammer. The thing that I like about uh, the Goblin Army is we could upgrade from MG to GG. Goblin Gang. <laughs> GG, baby. GG. <laughs> Change is something you have to get used to. Yeah, I mean, I think change is often good, but there are some things that I just like to stay the same, you know? Like, there are some things, like, that I do in, like, a video game, for example, that is kind of like, oh, I'm content just leaving it how it is. Even though it's a little bit, there's a, a, a slightly more efficient way of doing it, you know? I'm just going to just gonna leave it how it is you know <laughs> just chilling after all you know what I mean Manald Goblin MG <laughs> true Uh, back in the day, did you ever dupe items with Bone Ball Necro and Meteor Souls? No, I've never done anything like that. <laughs> How's that even possible? You have me intrigued. Can you? Ex is it something you can explain? Or would that be super annoying? Like how it worked? Is Blades of Ice used by the Mosaic? Certainly is. Yeah, one of the really important Mosaic skills. Yeah, Blades of Ice. It's used, um, used ubiquitously for Mosaic. Yeah. I think the, th the three skills, charge up skills that are used in like absolutely every Mosaic setup, to my knowledge, are Claws of Thunder, Blades of Ice, and Phoenix Strike. I feel like lots of other ones are used, but it's like, oh, people have heaps of variation in their setups. It just lagged the server. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wonder if we could pull off anything like that with Mosaic nowadays. Yeah, Matthew, that sounds like a fucking great base. Yeah, really good base. Weapon block, mind blast, and blades of ice. Yeah, that's a really nice base. I mean, people fucking love mind blast, but it's like, as a mosaic, I would literally never use it. Because it's just like, oh, you just blow things up anyway. But people fucking love that shit, so. <laughs> yeah. But Weapon Block is definitely great, and Blaze of Ice is definitely great. Yeah.
there any way to encounter decline in single player? Certainly is. Yeah. You just gotta find one SOJ and then sell it to a vendor in hell mode. Yeah. So it just takes one in single player. Mind Blast is just not needed with Mosaic. Yeah, but people still love it, so. Personally, I would never use it. I never use it. Yeah. Ooh, small charm. Beautiful. What a way to end the stream. I'm getting knackered, so I'm gonna call it here, dudes. But let's ID this little sap psycho. And then cap things off with a nice little 2017. 2013. Just a 13. Less exciting. In fact, that goes in the bin. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for tuning in, dudes. It's been a fucking lovely stream. Yeah, I hope, um, I hope some of you got some godlike annies. Some of you, oh, actually, not many of you would have been here for the whole five hours, but hopefully some of you got some, uh, one of the torches that we gave away at the start as well. And there'll definitely be, um, yeah, definitely, definitely be more, like, torch ID and giveaways soon. Because, like, literally what I'm doing is, like, running bail and then just like this stuff that i find that i'm not actually going to use i'm just like flipping i'm flipping it on tradery to get torches so we can id them and then give them to you dudes yeah thanks for the torch ah oh, my pleasure pally yeah yeah and yeah i'll see you next time yeah take care dudes